If you've seen the way Clutch Simulations farms, you'll know that, uh, well, I think I could do better than him. So we have decided to move up to Canada. We're not close to it. We're about six or seven hundred miles away from him, but we are in Edgewater, Saskatchewan. Yes, so today we are going to be jumping in. We're going to find ourselves some farmland to purchase. We are going to go ahead and pick up some farm equipment as well, because I currently don't have anything. Uh, I also only have 14 grand, so this should be fun. I've had some people on the job on my way here, and it looks like this area here on our right-hand side might be about the perfect spot. See if we jump up on top of the truck here. Not bad. I don't think anybody's taking care of this field, but uh, yeah, whoever Leroy Wilson is, they've done a terrible job. It doesn't look like pricing's too bad. We got 85,000, 57,000, and the main farm area is 97,000, so... Not terrible, but, uh, well, hopefully, hopefully we'll be able to do something with this. In order to sponsor all of this, we're having to take out a loan because I lost all of my money in Ohio. So, uh, yeah, so $500,000 loan. That should be enough to at least get us started. Hopefully the bank doesn't take too much of that from us every day. I still want to come in and take a look at this farm area because I don't know if this is exactly the one that I want or not. We'll say, man, it is kind of bumpy through here. All of the roads and everything. I don't know what they're doing in, in, in Canada, but man, the roads are not what I'm used to in Ohio. That's for sure. Granted, I've actually got neighbors here. So that's kind of nice. Looks like we got some abandoned buildings on this farm. <laughs> Crows take it off, of course. Uh, we've also got a couple buildings around through here. Doesn't seem like we're able to use any of them. And uh, for some reason, no one's given me the keys to the trailer. So we have to put a chair outside to sleep in at night. Along the way with this, we've got a couple crops. So it looks like we have flax over here in field 25. And it looks like we have, I think that's peas over here in field 24 plus. We've got a grass field over here as well. We may be able to do something with this. Maybe mow it up, bale it. I don't know. We'll figure that out. So let's buy our areas. There we go. There we go. And there we go. Uh, we're down to $273,000. So all the equipment that we use for our farm, we're going to have to take it out of that amount of money. And I don't know if I'm going to be able to get anything so the equipment that we've got is a little bit eclectic kind of out there some of it's a little bit out there so we have the smallest american gloss lexi and that's going to be on the 620 there and i found a case header that works well for it i don't know there's a bunch of hours on that thing we've also got the kubota m8 the big one right here however uh this is our only tractor we've also got a little merlot with a three point in the pto but uh i'm not sure how much that's gonna help and then of course we've got the mac truck we had to use this. There was no way around it. Plus I found one used, so it was perfect. And we got a little bit of this and a little bit of that to help us get going. So we got a nice John Deere, uh, ooh, a little lag there. I uh, got a nice John Deere thing and we got, man, I don't know what's going on, but that, <laughs> none of this equipment's happy with me right now. What is going on, dude? You know what? I don't, something's over there, anyway. You can see we've got plenty of equipment to get started. And now everything's back over to the main farm and we are, I guess, ready to get harvesting. So for the first harvest, we've got two crops. We're also going to be doing bales, at least of the straw that comes out. I'm not really sure what's going to happen. We'll figure it out. I'm not using the extended straw crops mod because it does conflict a little bit with this map. So we're just not worrying about that right now. And as you can see, I basically just parked everything in this grass field. I have no idea what to do with it and I don't have a mower. So that's gonna be fun. Let's do it. Let's start her up. Man, I love the sound of this thing. It sounds so good. Uh, I need to figure out a way to get this header. I think it's gonna be maybe over here. Yeah. This is gonna be the way to do it right here. We'll just take it right there and drop it. Go ahead and unfold the combine harvester while we're at it right now too. I would like to do a little bit more first person stuff. It's probably not gonna be doing much more than just driving around, but uh, oh. Can't see behind me. Uh, it's probably not going to be much more than just driving around, but at least uh, I'd like to do a little bit. I think first person's fun and enjoy it. I don't know if this is the best place to start, but I'm sure we'll figure that out once we go along. So let's enable straw swath. Or I'm going to enable the uh, fast farming, even though we're not really going to go very quickly at all. <laughs> this thing's not going to not gonna do it. I do uh, do have a couple other things turned on, and we are playing, I think, in either easy or normal mode, something like that. I did have it in hard mode to start with, but I decided last minute that that might be a little bit too 
hard unless we want to do like a hundred episodes, which I would be down for. But, you know, do one thing, move it along a little bit. Okay, so uh, Flax is going in. Uh, doesn't look like very quickly. We are not getting a whole lot off this field. There's a thousand liters right there. Man, oh man. This is going to be interesting. After the first pass, we have got about 3,600 liters. That's pretty good. But I don't... I, I, most crops, I feel like we'd have probably about 10 or 15,000 by now. So we're definitely not getting what we normally would be getting. And I'm also noticing that the straw is a lot lower than it would be. So I'm excited to see how's the pricing going to be for this. Really hope it's good. Man, and also the sounds on this thing are still just blowing my mind. And after all of the headlands that we need to rock and roll until I start to hire a worker on this bad boy, uh, we got 6,900 liters. Not bad at all. We do have a spot up here. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and hit this entire area up top by itself just so when I hire the worker, the worker actually does what I want him to do and doesn't just piddle pot around. Now that we're all said and done there, let's go ahead and hire ourselves up on a worker and I guess we could get ready and start bailing. Yeah, there's really nothing else to, to do. Yeah, so there's that. There is one thing I'm seeing off of this guy right here. Uh, he doesn't turn very well, so we may have to customize it a little bit, get these duels off of here and either go to some narrow singles, that way we don't have to pay for it, or we may have to switch up to some normal tires. There we go, we got them duels off of there. This should make things a little bit easier as far as turning goes. Tell you what, those big duels, they just don't turn well. Where's my bailer at? There she is. Oh, yo, I am super excited to use this baler. I've been waiting, waiting, waiting to use this case baler. And we finally get to do it. Yeah, let's double check, make sure everything's good to go. Uh, see, pick up, turn on, turn on automatic drop. Yes, please. Uh, change bell sizes to 180. The least amount of bells, the better. And I think that's probably good. <laughs> These two do not match at all. Try and get away from some of the areas over here where he is doing his work. So uh, I guess we'll just start here. Let's see. Drop it down. Turn it on. Good to go. And rock and roll. There we go. All right. We are currently bailing flax. The uh, straw. Seed? Straw. Yeah. Man, I don't know. So we are not getting the amount of straw that I would expect after this much uh this much cross swappage let's see there's 98 come on give me 99 one hundo there we go first bill is out and it magically changes sizes love it <laughs> and the last collection right here and there we go not a lot of crop off of this field not a lot at all twelve thousand nine hundred and one dollars hopefully that that pays well because I got a half a million dollar loan I gotta claw my way out of. I've chosen to actually go down and meet the combine harvester versus bring the combine up to the truck. I uh, really no reason to do that because we got a whole nother field to do over there. And this one? Oh, that pipe is a little bit short for this header, isn't it? Just a little bit. I always have that trouble. There we go. Nice. So what is this? This is something. Uh, what was the crop? <laughs> This is all so new to me. I'm trying to remember it all. Flax. All right. What do we got? 40, uh, 2,700. Sask Saskatoon, Saskatchewan. Where is that? Of course it is out there and we would have to rent a train to get it. Uh, I'm not quite sure. I mean, yeah, it's, it's worth, do we, do we do it? Do we do it? I don't even remember what button it is. Uh, rent the train for a thousand dollars. Yeah. Go, go, go. I have rented it. <laughs> Let's see if we can jump in here. Go, 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 go. Yeah. Oh, no, 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 no. Get it. I can't. I can't get it. I can't get in the train. <laughs> now I can. All right. I have no idea how to get the crops in here. Uh, I know there's something around here. Well, we saved that. That was perfect timing, wasn't it? We saved it around here somewhere. I know that there's a green elevator, so that should be where we go. And I got it. All right, so we are all set up, ready to go. Go ahead and turn off the train for now. Make everybody wait on us. When I was talking about the roads, this is what I was talking about right here. They are a little bit janky through here, but it works, man, it works. Yeah, I'd rather be them like this than, you know, 
boring. So at least there's that. Let's see, we are catching up to do pretty quickly. I'm not sure what the speed limit is in Canada, but I'm guessing I'm probably going over it. Pull up our PDA map right here and see how in the world do we get in there. Uh, that seems like a pretty good place to start. Oh, I am in the wrong lane. Maybe, I mean, the green elevator right here is where we need to go. Yeah, of course there's a turn into it. I'm a bit of an idiot. Oh, there we go. Turn my turn signal on. Yeah! The only thing I could think of is this might be a little bit dangerous because I'm going to hit something with my truck. So I'm going to set this to being the green door, not uh, dot the top. There we go. Yeah. Perfect. Okay, so unfortunately that made me money. That was not where I needed to dump this. Was that the wrong place? Did I rent the train and accidentally dump this at the wrong place? I did, didn't I? I sure did. Because guess what? This is the grain elevator for the train. At least I think it is. Looks like it. I don't actually know. Well, uh... That was all for nothing, wasn't it? Guess I don't need this anymore. Return rented train. Oof. Oh, fun fact, when I'm recording this, this was literally... <laughs> this DLC was literally showed off today. It's crazy how it's already in the game. So, guilty pleasure of mine is actually bailing in first person when I'm off screen playing. Uh, it's kind of one of my one of my favorite things. I do enjoy it. You probably wouldn't know that because I don't play realistic ever, but I do enjoy it. And there's another bell. Bell number five. Okay, so we'll probably make uh, maybe... Two more bells, something like that, and that'll be just about it for this area. And another thing you've probably noticed, maybe, maybe not, is, uh, yeah, I don't, um, I don't know where the best place to say this. I don't have an auto loader for bells. Yeah, I'm gonna have to load these up on my own. And here we go. The last bell is out. We can go ahead and raise everything up and put this away because this baler is done, at least for now. At least I'm not quite sure what we're going to get out of the other field, so I guess we'll figure that out when the time comes. So now becomes the fun part. We've got quite a few bills that we've got to not only pick up, but also move and put on this trailer right here. I got an idea, because these are some pretty massive bales, so hopefully the telehandler is going to work well for us here. And I'm hoping that we can get all of them on here without any issues. We're gonna go with an attachment that I love. This is going to be the uh, this, the little like multi-attacher from the Zia Z pack. Uh, it is pretty darn epic. Now working in first person ain't my thing, uh, but I will work in third person. <laughs> and I'll work just fine. All right, so there it is. And there you go. We has the first bell. We used to bring it over and we put it on the trailer. And, and that's what we do. Boop. <laughs> All right, let's do that. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ten, ten or eleven more times. I don't, I don't know. I can't count that fast. Bill number two. Boop. Got him. And I think now we should be able to come up here and put a strap on him. Yeah. All right, so here I'm going to get cocky a little bit because I've already done it good twice. Here is a bell. Now I'm going to try and put it beside this bell and get both of them. I don't, I don't know if this is going to work. Let's see. I don't know. Hook it up. Oh yeah. I'm so smart. Doesn't look like it's working, but it works great. I can't believe this is working right now. <laughs> it works perfect. You know, I know right now no one's going to believe that I'm doing this on my own, but I mean, it's not perfect. This is not an auto loader. <laughs> yeah. Cheating a little bit with the with the straps and stuff, but I mean, if this worked in real life, wouldn't you do it there too? So, you know, I'm cool with this. I'm happy with this. It's, it's all right, man, it's all right. It's all good, you know what it is, it's all good. Bam, there we go. There's that, and we'll jump out real quick and go, uh, beep. Do we have straps all the way through there? No, we don't, so we're gonna be right on the edge, right at the very end of that. Oof, and there it is. I got 10 bells on here. I think I made 10, did I? Did I make 10? Where's, where's the thing? There it is. I don't, I, I don't know how to, I don't know how to do this. And now we get to figure out where these bells is gonna go. Uh, one other thing I wanna do real quick. I wanna kinda 
get them to kind of push forward a little bit. So we'll let off the gas. Got him. That was almost bad. Let's just not play with fire again. Where are we going with the flaxseed pills? The the flax uh, bet, uh, straw. Yeah, livestock bell auction. All right, tag the place, baby. Let's go. Where is it? There it is. I have found it. I just don't know how to get in there. I think this is the plate. I am causing some serious trouble back there. Let's just pull forward and get in here as quick as I can without having to wreck it anybody. Yeah, there we go. Tell you what, I wish Farm Sim had VR. This would be a whole lot easier. <laughs> Let's jump into third person real quick. I guess we could just pull straight in here. Yeah, this will be fine. And uh, let go to straw bills. There we go. Boop and boop. Uh-oh. Uh -oh. uh, so we got about 10000 <laughs> <laughs> Actually, we got about $11,000 off of the bells. Nice. That's pretty good pricing. I'm kind of happy with where we are. We've made 40 ish thousand dollars today. It's pretty good. And you know what? We've only got more time to go from here to make even more money. We got another field to go. Rock and roll, baby. And we're back for our harvest round two. Today, we are going to be harvesting peas. And I have no idea what I'm supposed to do with these at all. I do know I've got a combine harvester. I don't know what words those were. Uh, I do know I have a combine harvester that should harvest these. Yeah, yep, that's uh, that's working. I don't know if we'll get straw or not. Nope, unfortunately no straw available for the peas. Speaking of, let's, let's maybe go a little bit faster through here. Yeah, there we go, I <laughs> like that. We've also got another business opportunity. So as you know, I'm a YouTuber. And I would like to be a YouTuber that plays Farming Simulator in Farming Simulator. And so, uh, Mapper's Paradise have done something super, super awesome. I just, I can't even explain how awesome it is. Uh, they have made a DJ Goham office in Farming Simulator for like a YouTube studio. It's, it's just epic. The problem is it's 80 grand and we have $46,000 right now. So we're going to have to make the money in order to become a YouTuber in Farming Simulator. We can do this. This is also the first harvest that I've done and <laughs> I don't even know how long that I've actually not had to do straw. It's kind of weird. Yeah, I think it's like, we're talking months, I think at this point. So, oh, missed a little bit. It's like months at this point since I've done any crops that needed straw or didn't have straw. Just said the same thing twice. Shut up. Yeah, I don't know how to describe it. It's just kind of a, a weird feeling that, I, and I'm kind of done with this field already, which is pretty cool, actually. There you go. Okay, so we got 15,000 liters of peas. Now let's see what we can do about selling these bad boys. Well, it looks like the train is going to be giving us the best price again, but unfortunately, um, yeah, I'm not doing that because I messed that one up last time. Also, if you there's a little bit of jerky, a little bit laggy. Uh, my game's crashed twice, and I've harvested that field two times now as well. Uh, I did save the game, luckily, before the last crash. Ah, it's just so much fun. I, I love when Windows updates. It's fantastic. So this is neat. A new place for us. Well, pretty much everywhere's a new place. I, I passed it. It's what I did. Hopefully nobody's behind me. Um... <laughs> That was not me. That was somebody else. I was not driving the truck at that point. <laughs> well, let's go ahead and pull up here. Let's see how much money it gives us. It's, I mean, there's nowhere that, no way that this is going to be a lot of money. Yeah, 13 grand. See, it's not bad, but it's not, not what I wanted whatsoever. Um, let's head back because we do need to go ahead and start getting the ground prepped for whatever it is that we're gonna do next i think we should probably run some oh boy uh we should probably run some soybeans just get a little bit extra cash i uh, also need to take a look at some contracts and see if any of the farmers around town need some help one other thing i need to do is go ahead and move all of our equipment out of that field over there because we are going to be using that field as well a, a field and we may even plow up a couple other areas as well i do need to kind of make sure that stuff is where i can get to it Otherwise, we're going to be a little bit slam out of luck. Taking a look at this, we do have some areas that are ready for some contracts. So uh, jumping in here, you can see we've got field 5, 7, 8, and, and even field 23 down here 
that's not too bad. Now, Field 5, that is a lot of work. I mean, there's a lot of work, and it's going to take a little while to do as well. Field 8, on the other hand, I could do one headline and let a worker finish the whole contract for me, uh, which may be exactly what we do, because we can then utilize the rest of our time and do other stuff. Plus, it's oats, and we'll be able to get straw off of it, making us even more money, even though I will have to bail it up. So, I think that's the move. It doesn't give us the most amount of money, but it is the easiest. So... Field 8, let's do it. Let's do it, man. Let's do it. We've got everything ready to go right here. These are the only two pieces that I need. Although I don't remember how much this truck holds. Field up, 100,000. Okay, so it holds as much as the combine does, which is ready to rock and roll, baby. Let's do it. I'm going to go through. We do want to enable straw swap because, uh, actually, oh, I don't have, uh, hang on. What crop is this? Oats, right? Yeah, I don't actually have extended straw crops turned on right now. So, so, uh, but, uh, no, oats make straw, right? I don't, I don't, I don't remember. I've used extended straw crops my whole life. <laughs> I don't remember how things work. Hey, yeah, okay. I apologize for being an absolute idiot. We're good. Everything's good. I'm good. You're good. We're all good. I'm going to hire a worker and see what happens. So we do have a couple little spots here and there that we're going to have to hit. It's not an exactly squared off field, but the good thing is once we get uh, maybe two runs around the field, which I think is appropriate, two times around, once we get that done, I think then we will be okay. Also, um, this is probably going to take about a year to bail up doing round bells. So I'm not sure what we're going to be able to do there. Maybe we can reinvest, sell that baler, um, let it go into the uh, into the used market once again, and um, maybe uh, maybe there's a used square baler out there ready for us that's got DJ Goham's name on it. Boy, I hope so, because this stinks. In our first headland around, we've gotten a total of twenty-seven thousand liters. That's a whole lot, man. That is a whole lot indeed. Goodness. All right. I'm on a worker right here. We'll do this one straight line again. Two times around. We'll empty out. Hire him on a worker. Then we are going to start working on our own fields. Evidently, the contract's 40% completed, but I haven't even finished the second headland yet. How is this already 40%? We're going to finish the contract before I'm even halfway done harvesting the field. Ooh, that might be a good way to cheat. I mean, I'm not cheating. You, you, what? Who? So with 52,000 liters coming out of here, 50-ish, whatever the number was, uh, I think we are probably pretty good and on a great track as well. We'll go ahead and double check this uh, just to see how we're doing. 57%. The good thing is we're delivering it in the game, so we're not, or in the game, in the map, so we're not like having to take it anywhere random, which is nice. We are going to have to make a few trips, that's for darn sure. Now we're back over and I've decided to lease, not purchase, it was $1,000, but I've decided against my best judgment to lease a mower. Now I don't know how smart of a decision this was. I don't even know how expensive, oh boy, uh, I don't know how expensive uh, grass is right now. I should probably have looked first, huh? So, yeah, um... That's, that's per thousand liters. Uh, I'm gonna need 10,000 liters, roughly, to, to make up for this. I think we can do... I, I think... I think we'll be able to handle this without any issue. I picked the wrong mower. I'm gonna have to windrow this up. Crap! Well, I guess it could be worse. I haven't used this mower before, so... At least there's that. I don't think I've used a mower of this style at all. Any! In farming simulator yet. I just go for the biggest thing I could find. Uh, it's not the easiest to try and drive this. Oh boy. Yeah, it's not the easiest thing to try and drive this thing, is it? It's actually not that bad. And, and I probably, if I was going a little bit slower, I wouldn't miss anything and, and actually enjoy this. This is kind of fun. Uh, mowing is probably my favorite chore to do in real life. So in farming simulator, of course, naturally, it would understandably be that I enjoy mowing as well. And I do like this mower. Great combo right here. I tell you what, Iconic did a heck of a job on his Kubota pack. So this is another area that I want to do something with. I mean, it's a nice open area where there's quite literally nothing. So I'm thinking about maybe mow this up as well. May as well. Uh, mow this 
and then uh, come through and plant a small little field. I mean, we'll get some extra crop. Why not, right? We'll see what happens. Uh, I think I've got a mod installed that'll take away those bushes. I do. Perfect. And if you're curious, I don't know what mod it is, but I think it's PC only. While I'm working, I do need to make sure I behave and pay attention to this guy a little bit. Plus, it looks like our first order is about done. I think it's going to stop right about here. Yeah, there it is. So we got 29,000 liters in here. We will definitely need to go ahead and take that truckload over and get the first load ready from our contract. Yeah, ma'am. Look at all this straw. Ooh, I am super excited to make the money off of this straw, and I'm super not excited to actually have to We'll do whatever I'm gonna do with it. Oh boy. And our mowing is done. There you go, and turn these lights off too. It's bad when you have to turn the lights on to see in the daytime, ain't it? <laughs> so let's go ahead and take that. We will go and find our least item. There it is, and return it because we don't need a mower anymore. But we do need a windrower. Oh boy. And here we have another $994 leasing. And of course I had it put right here. So there's a delivery fee as well for that. So now we need to make 20,000 liters, not just 10 for this to even be worth it. Because otherwise, well, it ain't. It ain't worth it whatsoever. I've never used this before. Does it have any bits and bobs? Nope, no bits and bobs. Just turn it on and let it work. Okie dokie. We're doing good. We're doing all right. When feel done, probably could have been done better, but you know what? It worked. Who cares? And field number two is done. So we can go ahead and send this back now because we don't need it either. Let's see. Where is it? Oh, yeah, right there. All right. So now we're going to take this. We're going to go grab our baler and we are going to make some round bells. Now, I don't know how much fun this is going to be. I'm guessing it's going to stink. Uh, I'm guessing I should probably also look at the price difference between silage and grass because if I wrap these... I might actually get a decent amount of money. But again, we're gonna have to spend more money and lease more equipment. But if it's worth it, we'll definitely know for sure, regardless, as soon as I'm done with this. So these are gonna be a decently sized bells. It could be 7,500 liters? Yes, yeah, 7,500 liters, my man. Yes, sir. Hey, what in that? Uh oh, wrong button. Go away, go away. Uh, turn on automatic drop. There we go. Did I make the right size bail? Yes. Okay, I did. I think I did. Uh, 7,500, 1.3 tons. I don't know how large that is. <laughs> uh, turn on automatic bill drop. There we go. Yeah, for some reason that was not on. Uh, we want to make 180 centimeters of brown bells. Yes. Let's make another one. Okay, so I don't think we're going to have any problems getting our quota. We just may have a problem figuring out how to wrap that bale. That's about all. So we did pretty good. Three bales off of the first field. And we've got another one in the chamber right here. So let's keep it rocking and rolling. How are we going to do? Probably get another one off this field. So here's the good news. Uh, there actually is no bad news. Uh, grass, like I said, paying for decent, decent. I mean, it's not terrible. How many bales do we make? Seven bales total. So seven times 7,500. Whatever that is, that's how much money we would get from this but silage on the other hand all we got to do is rent one little piece of equipment and make some silage bales the issue is i have no idea if do we have any that'll work let's see 125 to 150 125 to 150 that'll do 180 but i'm not excited about it uh let's see this will do up to 150 oh boy um oh Hey, this would work. As a matter of fact, I think this is the only thing that would work. The issue is as well is it's going to cost $2,700. So uh, it is going to cost a lot. Yeah, it's going to be about the price of one or two of those bales just by themselves. Oof. You know what though? Absolutely worth it. It's a no brainer. Let's get it, dude. Yeah. And we'll come down here and wrap our first bale. Now, if I remember correctly, I don't think that uh that these turn into silage right away i believe you gotta wait a little while for that but you know what that's kind of okay with me it, it, we don't need the money today but we do need the money eventually which would you know be nice oh it didn't drop it automatic do i have automatic drop there we go turn on automatic drop ba boom baby 
Let's do it again. So taking a look at this, it is 0% fermented with grass at 7,500 liters in there. Cool. There we go. Last bell is there. Ba-boom, ba-boom. And now we could go back in here and return that. So after leasing three pieces of equipment, we were able to go ahead and wrap up some of these bills that we've got. I'm going to leave them sitting just for now. We may end up moving them, put them on the trailer, something, but we don't need to do anything with them right now. Actually, what I need to do is hook up to this mulcher right here and go mulch both of those fields, but we may end up doing that next time. On the road again, heading over to Edgewater Grain, we've got a think if i remember correctly here we go Seventy-eight thousand liters in there at 100 in so 178,000 liters not bad oh i forgot to turn on my turn signal you know what i'm gonna reiterate i would love to have some vr with farming simulator i just think that'd be epic and i and i kind of want it <laughs> i mean i got the psvr coming in here in a few days so you know why can't i use that it'll be awesome to be able to use that with farming simulator and if you don't think I'm going to try, you out of your mind. All right, let's pull in here. I do want to double check just to make sure that I am going to the right place. Yes, that is it. And while we unload, we're also going to monitor this as well. Just kind of going back and forth, hitting the shoulder buttons, refreshing that. We are going to have to deliver most of it. I believe it's 90 or 95%. And uh, this ain't even going to cut it. So there we go. 66% is... Uh, is done and i don't know how many other percent we need to do but it's gonna take a minute might be a good idea to go ahead and finish the harvest before i do anything else though here we go just a little bit yeah got it all right put the straw right over here there we go uh and i'm just now remembering i might have to get all the straw up uh there's probably i don't know two or three hundred thousand liters of straw here if not more so I'm, I'm, I'm interested to see how I'm actually going to pick it up. I got a couple ideas, but I, I don't want to, you know, uh, we'll see. Hey, uh, just, just noticing here, um, a large stack round bell silage, uh, 25 of them, uh, $87,000, uh, or 87,000 liters for, 473 bucks i don't i don't know how that makes sense i don't know what world that makes sense but i do know that i'm gonna reset and i'm gonna buy those are you kidding me absolutely that could fund my entire operation where is it yeah i'm gonna make them light blue though so i know oh that's so stupid yes I'm not cheating, you're cheating. Get out of my face. Look what's on the used market. I guess those bells, I could just chalk that up to be like, oh yeah, it was a... Uh... Sorry, I've got to reset my thing there and I forgot when I hit shift, it zooms forward. Um, yeah, I guess we could just say like, yeah, local farmer had to get rid of a bunch of silage bells before they rot and he didn't have a way to get a sold or something. There, you know, there's a storyline. Tell me, what, what do you think the storyline would be? Let me know. This this is the difficult part right here what we've got to do is we've got to pour out i think about oh we'll get this down to 50. oh stop okay 96 percent completed 83 percent has been transported so we'll do a little bit more 86 percent a little bit more 91 a little bit more 94 a little bit more Leroy Wilson, Grand Street 14. Ah, sweet. Wait, why did that give me 16,000 harvest income? What just happened? Well, I don't know what happened because I don't know what just happened. But I do know I got a bunch of oats that need to be sold now. Uh, where can we take these oats? Let's see. 34, uh, 62, Edgewater Grain. Wait, aren't we there already? Oh yeah, we are at Edgewater Grain. All right, well, let's go ahead and dump the rest of this out too. Uh, we'll make a pile of money, baby. Ooh, yeah, look at that. Oh, that, oh, that, um, that money, <clears throat> that money went up too fast. Uh, we took out a half a million dollar loan and, and in like a day, we're up to almost 200 grand. I, I need to change something. <laughs> Before we come back, 
Uh-oh. Anybody know the best place to sell a bunch of bells that I acquired by legitimate means? Let me know. And we're back on Edgewater, Saskatchewan. Today, we're going to be moving some of these bells around, trying to just get them out of our way and maybe get them prepped up for whatever is about to happen next and what is about to happen next well we got field work to do we've got three fields now as opposed to just the one or actually we have i think like four uh oh <laughs> i detached the whole thing i'm an idiot uh we need to get all that done we've also got some rolling that needs to be done we need to do some planting i don't even think i have a planter yet so we gotta buy one and uh we do have a little bit of money but that's probably going to disappear soon as well. Oh, and we've got a bunch of bells over at the shop. And I don't know where they came from. I mean, what? And we've got a couple back here as well. I thought we'd made nine bells, but it looks like we've only made seven. Oh, well. I will tell you guys, I enjoy using these telehandlers so much. The Merlot is probably my favorite in farm sim of all time. I've been using this telehandler since Farming Simulator 17 on Xbox. Way back when from Oakfield Farm. Yeah, that's been a little while, but I miss it so much, and I absolutely love this telehandler. All right, we'll get this off, and then we'll figure out what to do with these. These are not uh, silage bells yet, but the ones at the store are, so we might might have to do something with that truck. Next, we got something that I generally don't do and haven't done, and really has just not been part of my repertoire. Uh, since playing Farming Simulator, and that is mulching. However, I thought I'd give it a try, at least for the series. You know, maybe it works out, maybe it doesn't. I don't know, and I figure I'll only know if I try. Plus, you know, what's the worst that could happen, right? <laughs> right? All right, there we go. We've got the first main field done. We've still got a little bit more left. Of course, this area right here on the side, field 24, and whatever that is. I don't I don't actually know if I need to mulch this grass field or not. <laughs> Reiterate the fact of I don't think I've ever mulched before. <laughs> and I still have to plow this up, so it doesn't matter. And there we go. There's the last bit that we need to have mulched, done up, folded up, do what we need to do, good to go. Now, we got some stuff that needs to be plowed. If we take that off, needs rolling, none of it. Yeah, so we're going to have to plow at least around the edge of our main field, it doesn't look like we need to plow this, but it's actually not a field, so we do. So basically, we need to plow everything. Cool. Now, we are going to roll this plow around towards the backside. If you guys are using a Lizard 6M or 9M, uh, what you may find is if you turn it around, you can actually go a little bit faster than you could if you had it turned around the right way, which is super super handy now you're not gonna be able to fly but you really don't need all that horsepower either which makes this a whole lot easier and a little bit faster for everyone not just pc players i'm also gonna come through here and just plow this stuff up sometimes when you get into a new map like this you may see that the areas on the sides are a little bit triangular you know what i just like to go through and make my own <laughs> make my own area around the outside of the field but I do have to be conscious, especially right now, when Create Fields is turned on. It could be dangerous. And already we've got one done. This one I'm probably not going to do as much field creating, but yeah, we're going to do a little bit. Why not, right? Man, I do love first person. It looks so good. And over here is where we get to create our own field. This big old area right here. Oh, man, it's already 2 o'clock in the afternoon. I did not realize how late it has gotten. We need to hurry. I do have time set on times two, and I do not plan on changing that for much of any reason whatsoever. I like to kind of keep things moving, and this will keep me from staying in the same day in the game for too long, which we know I have a problem with. So this should help me fix that problem just a little bit. Regardless, here we go. Coming around through here. Looking good. Looking good. Make sure we don't get too close to these trees because that will cause some problems with planting and combining. And there you go. There it is. So this is a nice area. I love this. It's not huge. It's not big. But you will get more stuff. As I've shown you, you get at least three or four bales off of this area right here. Whether you're doing grass or maybe you guys want to use it for crop, you'll get a yeah, thousand, two thousand liters, maybe even more of crop just in this area alone. It might seem silly. But if you're like me and you're starting off with not a whole lot of anything, it may be worth it to you. Lastly, we've got this one. Field number 
24. Let's go ahead and get her unfolded. Uh, I don't have create fields turned on. Yes, I do. Crap. Shut up. This, uh, there we go. That, uh, that didn't happen. And Trucker Mads, he's definitely not laughing at me in the other room right now. Now it's doing exactly what I want. And we can go around and do everything good. Yeah, that's definitely, definitely not me. I didn't do that. That's somebody probably K-Bot or something. I don't know. So now I'm actually going to be going through and creating some of those fields around the outside or creating some of that extra land around the outside that I had mentioned. Uh, some of the areas, there's just a bunch of room left and why not utilize that for harvesting we'll get more out of it we'll be able to get more money for it there's really no reason that we shouldn't be utilizing as much of the space as possible so that's exactly what i'm gonna do and for some of these other areas there's really not much extra space but we can at least straighten out some of these plow lines a little bit and straighten out some of the edges of the field a little bit which gives us a nice pretty line like that that's pretty cool now that our new field has been created and boy oh boy did we create a new bit of a field so everything around here that's in light blue is the new part of the field so i created a whole little area there a little bit more of an area here on the side and a whole little chunk right here on the right hand side as well of course i didn't double this by any means but you know what good like 10 percent. i'll take that just like that we are completed so boom boom got it Plumbing's not allowed in the state. All right, we'll do it like this. And then I'm going to go across the river right here. Actually, this may be a good place to build a little bridge. Man, we got some bridge mods. Maybe we'll be able to get something. So I remember when I told you we didn't have a cedar. I forgot about the cedar that we have. So our sprayer holds 7,500 liters. So what we need to do is get 7,500 liters worth of stuff. Now, this is probably going to be the way to go right through here. I would normally just cheat it in. But, you know, today I'm feeling nice <laughs> so there's one there's two and there's three that should fill it up nicely at least for the time being let's go and jump in here fill up with some liquid fertilizer and let's spray them out right through here this shouldn't take very long either uh, we just need a little bit of fertilizer down and the good thing is both of these grass fields that we have the top one and this one both they only need one spraying on them because They've already gotten, man, to tell you what, these bumps, let's just give this thing a heck of a time. Uh, we only uh, need just a little bit of spray on here one time and we'll be good to go. Oof. Either this looks weird or I don't know. This definitely looks weird. <laughs> also, because it takes longer to fold and unfold than it does to get to my next farm or the, the next field, rather. I'm going off road. And that's right, baby. <laughs> Everything is good, so we've gotten two fields done now. This is number three, but it's not really a field, more of a strip. And then we've got the big field on the left of us right here. And then we'll be ready to put this feed in, or the uh, seed in, rather. However, I don't actually know what I want to plant yet. I need money, so it makes sense to do something that would give us a little bit of money. Maybe canola, for example. Canola would be really good. Um, we could also do a little bit with, like, canola straw or something like that. However... The, uh, the, the multi-crop mod that I normally use with Yoast conflicts with this map, so I can't use that, or else I would. Straw uh, from uh, soybeans, for example. Another thing, you can't do that with this farm either, because, again, those two mods collide. That would actually work. It just everything else about them collides. So I'm not... I'm not quite sure. I feel like having some extra straw bales would be the best way to go. Have a little bit extra, just cheap cash, as it were. Uh, flax is okay as well. Flax does decent-ish, uh, but the amount of money that we get from it is uh, inadequate, to say the least. So, yeah, it's kind of all over the place right now. What do we do? Oh, uh, speaking of straw, um, <laughs> I think we've still got a field over here somewhere that has straw on it. Or did I collect it? Oh, don't tell me I collected the money. Oh, no. My, uh-oh. <laughs> Yikes. So the last episode, there was a whole field that I harvested just so I could get a little extra cash from the straw that was on that field. And I have got a new save game since then, which means we're not going to get that straw. That kind of stinks. And so there we go. We are absolutely done now with fertilizing. Speaking of fertilizing, 
I think the field I did my last contract on is also ready. Actually, no, I did it on field eight right here. What is in that field now? This is oats. This is growing. <laughs> All right, whatever. So the last thing we've got to do is put some seed out. Now, I don't know how long this is going to take. We could also do fertilizer as well, but we are not going to be doing fertilizer. Not out of here. I prefer to do the... Uh, well, yeah, do it the normal way. So I'm still thinking maybe canola or soybeans may be the way to go, especially with the headers that we've got. Soybeans may not be giving us like the wildest straw amount ever, but it does look like the uh, yeah, everything's going to be just fine with it. So DJ thinks soybeans are the way to go. So soybeans will be the way that we go. These are going to be going in every single field, not just the little one, not just the big one all of them i want all the soybeans i could possibly get try and pay off this loan as quick as possible that way we can move along all right so one is down something that i've found out and mr trucker matsy's beside me going what at the same time as uh this cedar um yeah it worked fine i didn't turn it on i just lowered it down and <laughs> it worked that was weird something else real quick i forgot i have a mod install that rolls my fields for me so by sitting here harvesting around <laughs> harvesting planting water why is it getting so dark i always do everything at 11 a.m in the morning in the game and just stop the time it's actually getting dark i'm i'm i might run out of time to plant today we will see so according to chuck matsy these older cedars like this would actually use the i guess the turning wheels in the back to power the cedars and or, or drop the seed rather uh, into the ground or put it into the ground. So uh, that's kind of neat. I didn't know it did that. I learned something new today. All right, let's finish this up, guys. We've got one more little bit that we need to do. I need some more seeds. And we're going to have to do field 25. And then we here today, at least for now, will be done. I got an idea because we got all those bells up there. I'm going to try and hire a worker here. Let them maybe try and finish this field or, or maybe even go fill up the seeds real quick. So we've already got through half of them and we've just finished the third headland right here. Maybe I go fill that up. That's a good idea. Let's do that. And then I'm going to slam on the brakes real quick before I don't hit anything. Nice. <laughs> We're going to go sell all those bells that are over by the main store. We're going to hang on to them for literally ever if I don't do it now. So now seems like the perfect time to go ahead and do that. Boom, open it up, seeds go in, DJ is happy. First things first, we need to make, oh boy, uh, this trailer right here, we need to make it some type of not 30 footer. But I think we need to get these bells off first. Don't ask how I got them off of here. <laughs> just, just accept that they are not on here anymore. And that's a good thing. Rock and roll, baby, we are here. The only thing is I don't actually know where we can work on the vehicle stuff and be outside and everything. I think it's, I mean, it's definitely over here. Does this open up? No, I don't think so. So we'd have to get right in front of it, but I'm afraid we're going to be in front of those bells and maybe cause some problems. I don't want that. I don't think you guys want that either. So I'm just going to go ahead and customize this trailer. So the function of it, we want bells auto load. That's going to give us our 50 foot. That'll work great for us. Now, the thing is as well here, I don't think a, uh, <laughs> I don't think the bumper pull is going to work great on a 50 footer. So we're going to go to the gooseneck attachment for that. Extensions stay on. Everything else stays cool. We do have to pay for this. 3,300 bucks, uh, which is not good. Um, huh. Um, Help. Uh, that is literally attached. <laughs> it is it is one solid piece right now. <laughs> that is uh, what we would call not good at all. And I'm going to go ahead and take uh, this trailer right here and we're going to reset it, which I believe it reset it back to the main farm, which I'm going to reset there. Go up here and reset that again. Goodness gracious, should be there. There we go. Okay, I think, oh, I think we're good. And now should just be doing all of this stuff. So operating position, got him. 
All right, I don't know where we're going with these. We are heading to Larry's Bell Shipping. And I have no idea how to get over there. But I'm guessing we need to take the first left that we could find. And then when it splits, we need to stay left and then take the first right. All right, let's see if we can make this happen. Dang it, laying a left here. I can see it. I can see it. But here we need to go left. Road closed to through track. I'm not going through. I'm just trying to get somewhere. That's all. <laughs> and then a right right here. And then I think that's going to put us right about where we want to be over here by Larry's place. Yeah. We got a lot. These are 3,500 liter bales. They're all silage, which is great. Good news there. Um, but I don't know how much money we're going to get. We're going to be the best backwards driver in Farm Sim and show you guys how to back these up. I'm also going to go ahead and unload all of the bales where they stand, just like so. And then back them in slowly. And there goes that money. Oh, my goodness gracious. 52 grand. So an investment of, uh, was that $470? Something like that. Yeah, we got $52,000 out of it. That's not bad. We've got enough money right now to pay off half, half of our loan. I don't know if that's the best, smartest thing to do or not, but you know what? <laughs> Might be close. Ah, sweet. Strobe light trees. My favorite. Ugh. So there we are, at least for now. We're going to be finishing up this field. I've also got to go through and fertilize, but uh, the next time you guys see us, hopefully... We're going to be helping out some of our other neighbors because, well, some of our neighbors have some work to do. Let's just put it that way. Good morning and welcome to September from Edgewater, Saskatchewan. Today we are going to be getting a little bit of harvest done, but we're also going to go do something kind of cool. So I have, uh, well, we've still got the same amount of, how in the world do I get out of here? <laughs> we... Uh, I have invested in a little bit of property. By invested in a little bit of property, I mean, well, we we own the outside of the map now. Now, we should have owned that from the very start. We did not. I made sure that I do now. <laughs> so there's that. Also, uh, all of our fields that we harvested yesterday are doing great. Harvested, planted. You guys know what I mean. So today we're going to do something fun. I am going to become a YouTuber in Farming Simulator while I'm playing Farming Simulator as a YouTuber. I'll explain. So right over here, actually, where we've got to take one of the contracts that we've got right now uh, to the farmer's market, there is an open area. Now, this is supposed to be the, um, I think it's the spinnery, but for some reason, at least on the version of the game that I have, the spinnery's not here. Just straight up, it's just not here. Uh, South has hit me up and said, yo, what uh it's supposed to be there and i'd say yep uh it is not and but that's okay we can put a spinnery down anywhere else that we want this is going to be the new headquarters of the goham co uh that's right because the goham co is a real life company <laughs> now which is just absolutely epic and one of the cool things is mappers paradise have sent me this this is the dj goham headquarters basically and we're gonna place it down i'm gonna find this back corner way back in there right about here put it down and this is the new headquarters look at the thing oh that is just so cool that's where we can work on the vehicles and i think we've also got a ramp here as well yes we do all right I gotta go get the truck. Where is it? And because I am the best backwards driver in farm sim, get at me, bros. Uh, I'm gonna back this in as well. <laughs> right about there. I think that'll probably do okay. That's good enough, right? Maybe we'll, <laughs> Maybe we'll try this again. One more, one more again, one more again. There we go. That will do right there. Let's raise it up. <laughs> Goes up under. I don't... I don't think this feature's ready yet. That that didn't happen. <laughs> I 
should probably hit up the Mapper's Paradise, guys. Anyway, let's go in here and check it out. So we got the DJ Go Him logo right there. Uh, right over here, there's a giant certificate there. Uh, I do believe they're going to be putting up a few more certificates. My stuff from... Uh, from YouTube and from Giant Software, they're going to be putting those in. So there is that right there. If we go in here, we've got a really cool just hangout room, having some fun. There's Farming Simulator right on the edge. Uh, you've got some <laughs> billiards in here. You've got Schmeck. There you go. You've got a Volvo <laughs> excavator up there too. At least, I don't know, it doesn't say Volvo, but I'll say it is because I have one of those on uh, mine. Go ham chill room. Hey, you gotta have a, a chill room just to hang out. Gotta get out of there. There we go. And of course, you can see through there. Come over here. Place washer, dryer, things like that. I mean, you gotta have a way to, to do all that. Got some cups right there. Cool, cool, cool. And then my favorite area through here. Now, I don't think that they put up. Oh, they did it. Yeah, there you go. DJ Go Ham. Congratulations. So we got the YouTube award up there, which is just so cool so these must have been the ones that uh that they took because that is definitely uh me <laughs> my face you can actually see my face at the top right hand corner so that's definitely the one i took a picture of for them uh you get the bathroom here with dj go Hib logos just all over the place everything is nitro blue which you know that i love can't see yourself, but you know what? That is all right. Sometimes you don't need to be looking at yourself in the bathroom. Uh, let's see. What else we got around here? What else we got around here? Storage room. Everybody's got to have a storage room with a little office uh, desk there. Windows looking outside and everything. Milwaukee tools. Because, of course, you got to have some tools in there, too. <laughs> Man, I'm loving, loving this. We've got another area here. Uh, smaller smaller little setup. Got a DJ Go Him desk mount or desk pad. I don't even have one of those in real life. And we do have the back door around here as well. One of the neatest things about this as well is they was giving me uh, live. Yeah, because this is the studio. What up, dude? I keep messing up. I love that. And then they've got the DJ Go Him setups here and everything. They tried to do or get close at least to uh, uh, to how that I set up everything. Um, they have done their best. I'll give them that. I'm going to pull this up to see if there's any anything thing that I can interact with. I don't think there are. Let's see. I got to uh, turn on lights and turn off lights. Yo, that changes the whole perspective of the room, doesn't it? Yes, it does. That's pretty cool. Coming around here. What do we got? What do we got? The YouTube uh, algorithm, <laughs> YouTube marketing and DJ Coham Studios. Oh, that is so cool, man. That is really cool. And then here, I don't know what's on the... That is uh, Advanced Auto Parts. <laughs> I love it, man. I love it. Uh, I can't open anything up through there, but we do have that. And that's a, uh, well, that's just a quick tour around of my, uh, my office. So the neat thing is about all this, you can see it's going to rain soon. Well, I need a way to make money. And one of the great things is they have hooked me up if you want to call it that, with some air conditioners that should make us a little bit of cash. So these air conditioning units right here will make me a little bit of cash each day, which is very, very nice and should uh, should make things a little bit easier for us moving forward because it's about to rain for about half of a year. Okay, so now all that's done, we are probably going to be making about, uh, let's see, $32,000, $33,000 every single month in the game. I do play with single day a month, so look how cool that door is. Ooh, 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 ooh. Nice. Do love that. So here's what I'm talking about, about it raining over the next about half of a year. So this gives us the next six months, plus the month that we're in right now, September. Uh, today is going to rain a little bit. Just a little bit, but it's going to rain tonight. Hopefully we'll be done with doing everything we need to do by then. However, October, November, it's going to be raining. December, January, February, it's going to be snowing. In March, it's going to be raining. April is the first time, almost a whole year. It's going to be the first time, well, half a year. <laughs> it's going to be the first time we're going to get no rain. So I needed a backup. In no way, shape, or form is that going to be good for us. It's probably going to make us about $400,000 a year, which is <laughs> real good, but farm said it's a little bit low. So uh, I'm going to do my best, man. I'm going to do my best. But we do have a harvesting contract on field number five. So let's grab what we need 
and let's get over there. I don't actually know how to get over to this field without literally driving all over every other field. So I'm gonna just do my best, dude. I'm just gonna do my best here. So we've got this whole field we need to do. I'm definitely gonna be taking the straw off of this field because they ain't no way. I'm gonna leave all this straw behind, not two times in a row. I don't know how in the world I got it up the other time, but uh, yeah, it, it wasn't it wasn't up. So we're gonna figure all that out. Uh, I've also got some interesting bits here at the top. So we've got all of this. What I may have to do is pretty much harvest from here up myself, and then go back and hire a worker and let him do all this stuff at the bottom. I don't know. We will see. Either way, I think. Uh, I think this will be all right. We'll get this sorted. We'll see what kind of trouble we can get into up here at the top end. So this is one of the big features of Edgewater, Saskatchewan. You're going to find all of these little areas where you've got ditches and all kinds of stuff where you can come in and you can actually just raise them up yourself. They didn't put anything weird or, or uh, that you can't manage down at the bottom of these. So all you got to do is just raise them up and you're good. And then you've got a full big flat map field thing again. The issue is, when you've got contracts and things like that, it ain't gonna work too well. So it does take some time, it does take some effort, and it will take some of your patience. But you know what? It's not just a big square field. It's it's not just about m finishing the job. I guess I'm guilty of that myself in Farm Sam. It's, it's kind of about enjoying the job. I found myself doing a lot of harvesting here on Edgewater, and I've enjoyed every single minute of it. I think you guys will too. After one full headlet around this field, all the way around, we have we have totaled 63,000 liters, which is a bit high. That's a whole lot, and I love that very, very much so. The only problem is we're gonna have to, well, we're gonna a lot of work to do. So let's see if we can find ourselves a truck. There we go. <laughs> exactly where I totally didn't reset it. And back it in here and get that done sweet okay so now the next thing we're gonna do i think because there is some room to go back and forth up here i think a worker could probably handle that just fine i do need to run around this little guy here in the middle but the rest of it's gonna be simple the rest of it's gonna be very very easy so i think what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna just kind of go back up this way run one more headland around everything until i get to right here and then I may turn around and hit it all, or I may even come through here and just hit this top part. I'm still not quite sure how I'm going to do it all yet, but <laughs> I know we'll get it all done and uh, it'll be within due time. Oh, and I just realized how much money we got right now. Oh yeah, that's right. I spent like a hundred grand or, or so on all of that stuff for the new place. Oh boy. Man, it's, it's going to take what, four months? Four months to pay that off? I hope it was worth it. So I decided to do the whole top of the field first. It was a whole lot easier than just kind of doing anything. It was one, two, three, four extra passes, something like that. Really wasn't that bad, especially after the headlands. Nice and easy. Now let's hit this and let's get in line with this straw swath. That way I could just drop it right on top of it. Like that. Love it. Yeah. And now we've got all this little itty bitty stuff down here, just south of that little island. One of the things I may do is just go ahead and hire this on a worker and let them rock and roll going back and forth, up and down. And then when they get to that spot, maybe address that issue once we get there. I'm not sure if it's a big enough problem for me to address now or not, but uh, we'll get it sorted soon enough. Let's go ahead and hit this and bring this in. That way I don't have to pick up extra straw. And now let's just go through, finish this second headland and hire them on a worker. The worker just hit 80%, so you can see how much we've actually gotten, and we're definitely, definitely, definitely gonna have to go and load some stuff up early because we're gonna get so much crop off of this field. Definitely didn't miss any right there either. 49,000 liters left in here, meaning I'm gonna have to do a little bit of work. So let's go and take this guy, hire him up on the worker, and then we need to jump in here and get to where we're going. But I don't know where we're going. I think it's up here. Right there, farmer's market. We should probably double check just to be sure. Farmer's market. All right, well, that was easy. What I did was I went too far. <laughs> I got to keep remembering that it's this turn right here, not the very last turn where it looks like it is on the map. I'm just an idiot and I apologize. Now, I think there's a few places for selling crops around here, but I think it's just those two in the back, at least at this specific one. 
And that is correct. So we'll come around here, take a bat right there, and we'll start unloading oats. And we'll also double check to make sure that we are progressing. Yes, we are. Man, that progress is just going straight to the roof. Man, I think we made a mistake. Um, I just got $239,000 from harvest income. But uh, oats filled five farmer's market. It Something tells me something bad's about to happen. Very close carding right now. There we go. There's another full setup. 200,000 liters, my dudes. To be honest with you, I think taking this road over here at the top left might be a little bit faster. And again, I have crashed trying to turn. I'm so bad at this. Uh, this truck's awesome. BC Bueller did a great job with this truck. I'm just the bad, I'm the bad one. And I think the other way was also shorter. So here's the thing. I don't know why it gave me so much money. It shouldn't have, uh, but it did. I'm not gonna say I hate it. I do like it. It's getting us out of the hole. Very, very good like. Uh, however, we're making money and this is not uh, saying that I've delivered anything like I should have. Huh. That is interesting. To get this massive amount of straw up and actually figure out what in the world is going on with all of the uh, harvest, because uh, it seems to have appeared to just stuck at 80%. Oh no, it's up to 81 now. Awesome. Um, yeah, I picked up this pot and get right here. This should work for us pretty good. Uh, I'm just gonna go back and forth with it, turn it on, rock and roll. Let's unlock the uh, unlock the bits right there, and then I'm just I'm just gonna go back and forth, pick up all the straw. It's gonna be a lot. It's definitely gonna be a lot. I'm guessing we're gonna miss some here and there as well as it bounces around and things like that, but. It's going to take some time, and I'm not really going to worry too much when I get down to the ends. <laughs> let's let's see. At this end right here, I'm just going to go straight through it and see what it picks up and what it misses. You know what? I'm cool with that. <laughs> so now that we've got a lot of this field done, the worker themselves are probably going to start causing me some issues. It's pain etc 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 so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna try and deal with it the best that i can make it all work and hopefully 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 come out on top uh i've been collecting the straw we got about 350,000 liters so far but we haven't really collected much i've collected the headlands and almost everything that's at the top I'm doing my best, man. I'm doing my best. It's taking a while, though. We've also completed 94% of this contract, and I still have more to harvest. And we've got plenty more to deliver, so I don't know what it thinks. Maybe I've already delivered everything that I need to deliver. I don't know, man. It's so confusing. Well, it just says 98% completed. I am really shocked about everything that's been going on so far there's no way it's giving me all that money i mean there's absolutely no way or we'll get stuck at you know zero percent on the contract or something like that it's, i just don't believe it i believe it contract on field five completed i just finished it um uh <laughs> Oh boy, uh, I don't know what, what had happened was, but what had happened was, I don't know. And that was a bad decision to go through there like that. <laughs> okay, well, I guess we just made a whole lot of money. Well, I think I've seen it all now. And I tell you what, if the, uh, if the statement may the odds be in your favor. <laughs> yeah, that is, that has been absolutely perfect for me. So. We've got a little bit in the truck, I believe. I don't think it's completely empty. We've got another 92,000 liters of oats in here, plus all of the straw that we have to collect. And we got $769,000 in the bank right now. The contract is completed. I mean, there you go. There's, There it is. I can collect it if I want. <laughs> I don't know what happened. I promise I didn't cheat. I just don't. I, I just can't. Uh, 
it confirm what happened because I have no idea. Either way, I'm going to go ahead and pay off that loan. Yeah, ooh, keep borrowing more. Repay, repay, repay. Go, go, go. Soon we are going to fill this thing up. It holds a million liters. I tried to give it to Trucker Madsy earlier, but he wouldn't take it. I told him it was a great way to not cheat, but cheat at the same time. Eh, he wasn't buying it. Uh, anyway, I don't think we're going to be able to get much more. I've got two little lines right there. And then the very, very ends. I just... <laughs> I just don't care, man. So we've completed the contract. I'm not even going to mess around with it anymore. Take it and collect. Boom. So there's 35 grand for us right off the top. And we need to find a place to sell straw. And we need to find a place to sell oats. All right. Looks like we are heading over to the grain mill. It looks like it's going to be this one right here. I totally didn't turn in too early in a previous clip and, and not. Um, what? Nope, not me. Not me at all. Hey, can we buy this? <laughs> 96000 for that. Uh, I would kind of be interested, to be honest with you, in, in buying the uh, grain mill. I know you can't sell productions after you purchase them, and I, I really just don't want to deal with all of that, but I would like some flour. Please, and thank you. <laughs> the, I, I think maybe staying away from production chains, uh, at least for now, I think we uh, got production chained out after the last let's play. Okay, $342,000 for that run right there. Uh, again, I did not do this. It's just happening and I'm not saying a thing. And here's the second run. We're gonna overshoot it. Nope, we are good. Let's go ahead and let him do that. Uh, Straw is actually gonna be heading back down to the bottom of the map. So we're gonna be running back to uh, Larry and <laughs> pay it him a visit. Okay, there's another $167,000. We're at 800 and sixteen thousand dollars boy oh boy i really hope that we don't uh, ruin all this because we have done some pretty good stuff today just chilling with a million liters of straw no big deal no reason to cause alarm i also don't think that this trailer dumps very quickly nope not in the slightest bit that money is going up about as slow as i can run <laughs> so it might be a hot minute before we find out how much money we gon' make. And the final tally is $152,000. So, uh, we now have 969,000, nice. Um, and I need to account for more than just that. I need to account for about uh, 1.2 million. And I don't know where it came from. We're back for day five on Edgewater, Saskatchewan. And today is going to be a bit of an interesting one because we are going to expand our farm. We're going to buy a new plot of land. As a matter of fact, we're going to go ahead and do that right now. I'm buying farmland 58 or 59 just south of what we've got right now. Now, we do have some stuff currently growing. As you can see, we've got all of these fields right here. I believe it's all soybeans as well. Now, I bought these and we've got barley and flax ready to go very interesting size fields and we may even extend down into farmland 22 or field 22 rather later on should be fun should be interesting and we got a bunch of bales that are ready to be sold so let's go find somewhere to sell these first because we do have a really really big auto loading 50 foot gooseneck trailer we're gonna use that i i know i know i, I said i was gonna load everything I don't want to do that anymore. <laughs> and naturally, I've gotten stuck because all these cars, they want to go, but they don't want to let me go. I, dude pulled out in front of me. Get out of DJ Go Ham's way, bruh. <laughs> Lordy. All right, let's get in here, sell these up. I mean, we only have seven bells. It's not like it's the end of the world or anything, but yeah, we should be okay. 7,500 liters each. That should be a pretty penny. So let's come through here and unload them. Boop, boop boop about 30 grand not bad but that's free money and we did have to lease everything that came with that if you haven't seen those episodes go check them out episodes one and two all right i think we get to work yeah, i think we get to work now and also since we've got uh well, a little bit of money we can actually get 20 percent boost on all of our stuff just by upgrading a few things and i think now may be the perfect time to go ahead and do those upgrades so there's one. Now, on most maps, this type of setup right here works with, uh, you know, it mows. And or takes your crop and turns it into straw, but doesn't give you the crop. Well, fortunately for us, it's a little bit different on this map. You see, on Edgewater, Saskatchewan, when you have things like 
this for example. I don't know what the difference is here. Crop catcher, crop catcher color. We're just going to go with regular crop catcher. Sure, why not? You know what? No crop catcher. I don't want it. Boom, ba boom, boom, boom. Basically, you just go through and you uh, mow down the crop and it swaths it up for you. And once you've got your swath, then you hook up to this bad boy right here, which, by the way, a uh, huge shout out at BC Bueller Farms for making a pickup header that matches the yellow claw Sarian. Ah, this is not a Sarian, it's Lexian. I don't know the difference. Anyway, so you take this thing and then you pick up all the stuff and then depending on the crop type that you've got, I know canola doesn't do it. However, uh, wheat, barley, oats do it. It'll put back out straw again. So you can pick up the straw. 20% boost, you still get straw. All the good things happen. And we have a big old pickup on the front, which means I'm gonna go double. And yeah, it may only be 20%, but the good thing is with this swather that we've got, we can actually go like double, but ooh, whoa. Let's, let's slow our roll here. Uh, we can actually adjust the swath setup. So I'm gonna go swathing to the right. Definitely, definitely didn't forget to show this part off in my preview video. Nope, not me. I would never do that. Uh, let's go through here. <laughs> All right, so we hit this and we've got our swath over here on the right hand side. This way different from anything else that we've seen. So I'm just going to go through this entire field and swath that up and then I'm going to kick the other swath towards the inside. Oh, and that's grass. That's definitely not what I want. Well, we, we may have a little bit of trouble with that through the outside of the field, but Take my time. And honestly, if you guys are doing this as well, you might even be better off just going through the outside and doing a normal combine harvester swath through the outside. Yeah, I'm getting way too much grass, so I give up. I give up. Great part about not saving you game, but every once in a while, you can start over. We're still gonna do all that, but I'm gonna run a headline around all that first just to get away from the grass. Normally, we would just run a dirt skirt, but I don't... I don't want to run a dirt skirt around that field. It looks really nice. So at least with this setup, we're only going to be losing like, what is it? The part of, uh, we're going to be getting 100% instead of 20% off the outside. Yeah, that's it. <laughs> it's, it's really not that big of a deal. It'll, this'll be, this'll be fine. Plus we could actually get this done a little bit faster as well. So yeah, no wasting your time picking up grass for no reason. So while I'm doing this, while we're going through and getting the uh, harvesting done here, by the way, this is one map that I actually enjoy overhead farming. I don't know what it is, but I enjoy it. Uh, let's talk about my game plan for this because I know a lot of you guys probably want to go, DJ, where are you headed? What are you doing? What? Why is Clutch uh, being weird all of a sudden? I don't know, man. I don't know. You'll have to ask him, but I can't answer the first part of that question. <laughs> got him uh <laughs> we're gonna try to kind of what we normally do i would like to own a cow farm maybe build my own i think that would be a lot of fun to build like just this massive cattle farm maybe a thousand head of cattle or something like that it'd be fun um seems very good with this map but also like to maybe get into pigs as well uh that would be a good time but i want to kind of try out all of these new crops we've got quite a few uh, we've already done a few of them, but I would like to do all of them and all of the new features that come with this as well. Um, I know there's some really nice farms on here. They have done such a good job putting like beautiful, beautiful farms together. However, DJ Goham wants to build his own. So I'm also going to find an area and uh, flatten the land out, do whatever I need to do with it. And we're going to build our own farm. So that's uh, that's kind of the, the dealio. I'm shooting for between 20 and 30 episodes. Let's rock and roll, baby. I think I bit off a little bit more than I could chew with this uh, <laughs> This one. Also, this combat officer is super loud. I've used the same sound settings since I think Farming Simulator 19 midway through when I got my Go XLR, and it's always been the same. But this combat harvester, it loves to scream for some reason. So I'm just now getting all the way around the field. We've got almost 45,000 liters, and there it is, 45,000 liters in. It's just, oh goodness, it's just so much. So there, uh, there we go. There's our stuff. Now we can, now we can do it the other way. Okay, let's do this again. We are gonna go ahead and toggle that working mode. So we've got the working mode coming out the right hand side. Turn it on, drop it down, and very, very good. So again, we're still gonna have to make more than double the amount of passes that we would have normally. However, 
one of the nice things is with this we don't have to make too many weird little passes so that's nice areas like this that i did not expect <laughs> so i'm gonna have to figure out how to do uh do this uh i guess i'll just come around and kick it back out to the right hand side what could go wrong so yeah it's just i mean it's barley at the end of the day that's coming out of it the whole crop has just been cut and instead of chaffing it through like a forge harvester or something where you would mow it up here it just kind of kicks it to the the inside and lays the crop down it keeps the combine harvester from having to pick it up and i guess it's maybe more efficient this way in real life as far as real life variant i'm not quite sure but the way it works it's pretty simple so there is one thing that you need to know about when you're mowing the grass you can hire a worker when you're doing this you cannot hire a worker i maybe thought that you could but nope no you cannot so if you are swathing you're gonna have to do the whole job yourself that means i gotta do this whole thing by myself all right now that is a pretty thumbnail so now all i gotta do is go around backwards this time and dropping all of the swath off to the right normally when you're doing this you're doing some type of mowing and and uh maybe it doesn't quite have to line up just right but for what we're doing today i actually need all of this to line up perfectly or else i'm not gonna have a lot of fun because i'll have to pick up way more and do way more passes than i want to the headland setup is almost done of course we had to run one with the combine harvester now two with the swather but at least it's almost done and there's not a lot of field left if i'm honest i'm just gonna follow this through a little bit right about here there we go and then now i'm just gonna go through and uh, swath it up i guess i, <clears throat> I don't know <laughs> i think i'm just gonna go vertically here and we'll go up and down up and down up and down and hit all of the parts like this that need to be hit yeah man this is working perfect i mean i know we're not hitting a lot and we're wasting a lot of time turning around but I mean, it's working, so whatever. <laughs> Ooh, can I get this close? Close enough. Nice. All right, so for this one, I think I can get this almost close enough not to have to worry about it and come back and hit it. That is the nice thing about starting on one end versus the other. Boop. <laughs> hey, you can just put it over there when you're done with it. Yeah. Oh, we got a little bit right here. Hang on. Change that swath pattern up. Oh, yeah. I'm so good at this. I'm a professional. Yes. And just like that, we are done with at least this field right here. We'll take a look at it. It is showing harvested because technically that's what we did. We just kind of left the crop where we found it. We've got another field over here as well, flax. So uh, we'll see what we could do with that one here in a minute. But for now, we need to get all this picked up with the combine harvester. So this will be interesting because I could probably write a book on how to harvest a field in Farming Simulator with a combine harvester and get a beautiful straw swath to swap out the back. However, I, um, I didn't, I, I don't, I don't actually know much about it when it comes to doing it this way. <laughs> so we'll see how it goes. Also, do I have the, uh, real speed by turned out? I do. This header just takes a bit of power. And also that's a lot of straw coming out of there. I know we're getting 20% more, but dang also i might be able to do a lot of this in first person let's go my dudes yeah look at the beautiful animation of that coming in that looks really really good oh that's that's gonna get mixed up that's nasty all right well whatever oh we're missing some back there uh oh let's uh let's not do that now so in the first bit that uh when we started doing testing on edgewater sketch and uh this right here would pick up like everything and and it would give me like the straw it would pick up the straw but it doesn't look like it does that anymore which is great great news so i don't really have to worry too much about that now all i gotta do is worry about it picking up all this so let's let's rock and roll and see what we get in the first headland we should have to go uh fill up but i don't know we'll figure that out you know i do gotta hand it to the guys this does look pretty darn cool tell you what bc Bueller farms you nailed it, my man. You nailed it. One of the things that I started to, uh, well, wanted to try to do with this series was to do more in first person. And you know what? I think this ability right here. Oh, that jump. Did I miss any? Boy, I hope I didn't miss none. 
Anyway, uh, this mod right here has given me the ability to actually do more in first person and enjoy farming in first person a little bit. Only thing is, I gotta do the whole thing myself. No hired workers. Well, we didn't make it too far, did we? <laughs> nope, we made it about this far. And she's just about full. I think it's like 80, 81%, something like that. So this gives us a good opportunity to go ahead and unload. And I would do this on the go, but well, can't. All right, now how's this gonna work? Cause it is right here. Is it gonna get it all? It got it all, all right. <laughs> cool, man. This is, this is almost too easy. And we're finally around once. <laughs> we ended up getting just about double in that in that whole thing. What was that 80-ish, 80, 90,000 90, liters, something like that, of the straw swaths. Goodness gracious. I'm definitely gonna need some help picking these things up. But I'm loving going through doing first person. This is so much fun. I thought at first I was gonna have a hard time telling the crop apart from the swath, but it's actually pretty straight on. It's it's really not that bad. Yeah, there you go. It's just a little bit darker, that's all. <laughs> This is honestly the worst part is I've already hit the headlands and now I gotta hit all these lines in the middle and I really hope I don't miss any. <laughs> hey, we'll see, man. We'll see. Oh, that's a big pile of straw. Goodness. There was one other thing I wanted to let you guys know. Don't forget, if you are playing on PC and you have Yoast Mining's extended straw crops mod installed, this what I'm doing right now, this ain't gonna work well for you. So make sure that you at least have that mod uninstalled for this game save specifically. Uh, I've done the same thing normally on, on this computer that I'm playing on right now. I only play on one game save at a time other than mods. So just, yeah, heads up there. Uh, don't don't use that. You, you'll have a, well, you'll actually have a great time. It just won't work properly. <laughs> the stroll swap will be about 10 feet high. All right, let's go ahead and unload this for uh, round number two, but I don't think it's going to fit it all in here. Yeah, we got 60,000 in there, 100,000 here. Oh, um, you know what? I think we're going to have to either add some zeros or find something new. And I think with that, we are done. I, th I think there's, there's probably some spots that I didn't hit, but I think that's it, man. I'm gonna go ahead and pop this out just so we're ready for it. And I'm also gonna go run around and do a quick flyover of the map just to make sure, but dude, I think that's it. Let's see, we'll enable our power tools. We'll just kind of spin around real quick, looking for dark spots in the field, spots that I possibly missed. You know what? I think I hit it all. Nice. Definitely not the most beautiful field I've ever harvested, but you know what? I think that turned out pretty well for my first time doing this. So barley prices, Edgewater Grain's giving us pretty good. Grain West is <clears throat> doing all right as well. Excuse me, just had breakfast. Uh, yeah, I think uh, I think Grain West is the place to go. Tag is the place, and then try to find it. I'm guessing it'll be West somewhere. Yeah, right there. I'd also thought about doing productions, but uh, you know what? We did enough productions, I think, in the last one where I'm just gonna have a little bit of fun selling crops because when you get into production chains, especially the uh, flour and oils and stuff like that, you kind of start to go down a rabbit hole a little bit. And and, and I just gotta be honest, I don't, I don't wanna. I don't wanna do that anymore. <laughs> And I think here we are. I think this is it right here. Should be nice, simple, make us some cash. 2,000 liters per thousand, or $2,000 per thousand liters. So we should make like 200 grand plus off of this just single load. And we basically got another one. Man, $200,000 was right. 202,851. Almost right on the money. And picking up the second load, what are we gonna get? 88,035 liters. So we won't get another 200,000, but we'll get at least another, what? 160? 176? Something like that? It's not too bad. Yeah, pretty much exactly. 178,580 bucks. We still have lots and lots more that we have to do. We're gonna have to go through, pick up all that straw. By the way, I think, uh, I think I'm gonna have to do it. I think we've got one. I think there's one right here somewhere. I'm so sorry, guys. I'm so sorry. It's on sale. What do you want me to do, man? Gotta have it. If this hooks up, it's gonna be a little bit of a game changer for me. If it doesn't hook up... Oh. Well, I didn't line up correctly, did I? Hey, we got that. No, no. 
I need to I need to adjust do the adjustment. Come on, DJ, you're making a bad video right now. Nice. Nice. No. No. Yes. Oh got it. <laughs> Don't have to buy another truck. Let's go! D6 on Edgewater, Saskatchewan, and today uh, DJ Goham doesn't feel very good, so we're gonna do our best. What I've done is I've gone through and picked up all the straw that we made in the last one, and we've got about 720,000 liters. I've also purchased a new field, and we're probably gonna buy a container today because I, I modified them, and I hope it works. That's that's all I can say here. These should sell pretty darn quick, which would be nice. Uh, this truck has actually picked these stuff up really well. I've been kind of shocked. BC, you, you nailed it, my dude. You nailed it. All right. What do we get there? 110,000? Not bad. And it looks like everybody's about ready to go over here. So we will pull this to the side. Just like so. We'll cut it off. And let it go to a stop. So I want to do the swath thing again. I think that worked really well. We got a lot of extra crop off of it. But the unfortunate thing is I don't know if, it, if I'm going to hit the grass again. So... We'll put a regular header on here. We'll go through, we'll pick up the first headland around. I think that'll be good. So here we go, drop it down. We'll go ahead and enable fast farming as well because <laughs> of course I'm gonna do that. And we will hit it. Now one thing I did notice is with the big pickup that we were using, or say the big pickup, the uh, swather over there, it was going pretty quick and this header goes pretty quick as well. But what doesn't go fast is the, the pickup for this. It just doesn't go very fast. And I wonder if it's because we've got one of the smallest combines that we could possibly get. I mean, we got it used, pretty much everything we've gotten used at this point. But I just wonder, maybe a little bit more power, baby. Might be helping out just a little bit. While we're at, oh, yeah, that's not, oh boy. <laughs> Let's see where we're at. Let's go down to the other field, but I, uh, well, I'm terrified. This was not a good idea. So this right here is the reason I wanted this field right here. That guy. Because it connects with the other field that we've already got. I think this would be perfect. Make one larger field. And maybe when we come through and get rid of some of those waterways. Even though, I gotta be honest with you. Those waterways are some of the coolest features of this map. And I feel like I might be doing it a disservice by getting rid of them. Eh, we'll see. Either way, I'm probably going to get rid of these fences because they are doing a disservice to me by being in my way. And there we go. First head along both fields are done. Now let's fire the worker and let's see what we can get put together for ourselves. All right, so we have jumped on our uh, crop. Everything is good. And, and I didn't have any trouble getting over here either, which makes me wonder what's going on because it was a little bit too easy. For this one, I think I'm just going to try and go back and forth. It seems like it's fairly simple, and our combine harvester can turn around on itself, so why not give it a try like that? Man, I wish I could hire a worker, though. Everything seems to be working just fine up until the point where I get down here to the end. Turning around is a bit uh, fun, I guess is the word to use here, because we have this big header on the front, so I have to get around, get around where this fence is, and then turn it back on and go again. I think if the fence wasn't there, I'd have a little bit easier time turning around, and I say that because I have a lot easier time turning around on the other end where there's no fence. Ah, that's so nice. All right, first field is done. We'll go ahead and change our swathing setup here. We'll go ahead and raise our header because there's no reason to leave that down. And we will look it around on our beautiful, beautiful work. Of course, as you can see here, the swath itself for the crop pretty much looks like the crop, but lighter colored. And then around the outside where we got that flax straw, the darker color. Still rocking and rolling. We are still on field number two. And, well, you can see we've done a good amount. We've got a little bit more to go. I'm just sitting here, hanging out, watching YouTube videos, doing doing the field. That's about it. So we're getting out to the end of this field. And next, once we get everything picked up, once we get the flax straw picked up, we'll sell all these crops. See how much money we've got at the end of all that. But we're going to need to go through and start doing some field creation. So we're going to take all this area right here and we're going to take the plow that we have we're gonna create the fields uh, i did notice that some of these spots are a little jagged like through here you can see it kind of goes nyah, 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 nyah. 
So we'll take a plow and we'll go ahead and make that look good. Ooh, that was dangerous. I'll tell you guys this as well. This is probably the thing that I love the most about this new like straw pickup kind of stuff. I mean, you could, you just, well, you just go pick it up, but you can run your headland first. So you don't have to worry too much about it. So you go through here, it's got a very similar animation to Tedding, which I think is one of the most satisfying <laughs> bits that we've got in the game. Ooh, you can see, yeah, I'm having a, having a little bit of a difficult time getting up this hill right here. I should have fast farming installed, which I do, and it's active, and <laughs> it's about as fast as she'll go. Uh, it's going to take us a while to get all of this picked up, but I'm going to do my best. We'll see how long it takes. Uh, we should also get a very very good amount of crop off of this too not to say the same thing a hundred times but this is probably my new favorite thing to do in farming simulator it's so easy and it's fun and it's awesome and it's really nice to do in first person i love this only thing is you can't hire a worker but it makes you do it and we are done with this field so what we've got is about 40 ish thousand liters and and that's that's about it I would have expected about twice that much, but you know what? It is what it is. Flax really, really doesn't give you a whole lot. But we got another field to do, so let's go do it. All right, let's see if we can do this without having to set anything. Oh, I don't, no, 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 that didn't work. Already missing some. Good job, DJ, good job. Oh, I'm missing a lot. Ooh, we should definitely back up. Hopefully it doesn't put it all the way again. It did. All right, go, 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 go. All right, we'll try something new on this one. I'm trying to do like a little whoop, just like that. And then we pick back up right where we left off here. It's gonna give us a little loop at the top, but I think if I go through and hit a headland with our uh, swather, it should make these straight, yeah. It's also gonna save me plenty of time. Couple little spots here and there that we missed and we'll be all done. Boop and boop. Got them. First things first, let's go ahead and pick up all of this straw right here. And again, as I mentioned, I'm just trying to get it right up here to the edge and I should be able to just come straight through here at the end and just go back and forth. And I should have myself plenty of room to turn around as well. That will be very, very nice. Oh, the only thing is sometimes this, well, it just doesn't turn. That's okay. It's a, there's a lot behind it right now. So not a bunch, but we did get around almost 100,000 liters off of all that. So could have been a lot worse. Let's see if I can manage to get myself up to the other side. There we go. And I'm going to go ahead and unload the combine harvester into the truck and then go pick up the rest of the flag straw. Goodness, this is one heck of a setup. Oh, slow it down. That didn't work. And got it. 48,000 liters of flax. That is not going to be a whole lot of money, but it'll be more than zero, so it's worth it. Well, we got a little bit more straw off of this field than we did the other one. Uh, we're over 400,000 liters now, so we'll go ahead and put that away, fold them in, and now we're ready to find ourselves somewhere to sell this stuff. Hmm. So even though we don't have much, again, flax really doesn't give you a whole lot at the end of the day. I still think we're going to do okay here. We'll definitely get ourselves into the million dollar range, I believe, for the first time. I don't, I don't, I don't know if we've hit that or not, but we should. So we'll go back this up, get it there, go ahead and dump all 400,000 liters out. So $40,000 just for that. Okie dokie. And then to get the best price, we are going to go right here. Let's go and tag that place, the Northern Mail. Let's go ahead and take our flax up there. All right, so the good news is I have no idea how to get in here. The... Better news, I guess, is that I think it's right here. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Go, DJ. Go, DJ. Go. All right. Um, is this where I dump? I guess so. Check that out right there. Yeah, they've utilized the area that uh, that they've got in the base game. But for this. Okay. Very cool. Well, we certainly are now up into the $1 million club. Well, $1,067. It's $667, not terrible at all. Let's head back to the main farm. Let's go ahead and get our plow out. And you know what? We may even go as far as getting a new tractor today. I don't know. So now we get to have a little bit of fun. Let's go through. First things first, we should probably save the game, huh? Just, you know, you never know what's gonna happen. So let's do that. Let's go ahead and open up the plow here. Let's double check and make sure uh, Create Fields is turned off, at least for now. And I'm going to come through and I'm going to just run all the way around 
this field. That way it kind of, you know, smooths it out. It gets all of these extra little bits and bob places ready to go for us, just like that. What this is also going to do is it's going to make planting a little bit easier later on as well. So don't have to worry with all of these little jagged edges or these little spots. Everything is nice. Everything is smooth. Everything is easy. And because we're doing this, we could go through and uh, show a little bit of liberty in some of these areas that are perfectly fine for a field. There's just no field there, man. Well, now there is. <laughs> and then now that we are all the way to the other side, we've hit it, lined it up perfectly, and we'll go down here and create, well, I was gonna say create a couple fields, but uh, please? So it won't let me fold it when it's down, but it'll let me fold it when it's over here. Fair enough. So this is good and it's close, but we've got a lot of fences in the way right now, and I would love to get rid of some of them. It's just a lot easier. Plus you can see across the way, Fences are in a little bit of a different location, so I don't know if running everything quite like this is the best thing. So let's go here. We want to save the game real quick. We can put these fences back and even put them in a different spot or location when it's all said and done. But there we go. And now all I got to do is go through and... Well, make sure that they're deleted. All the fences one way are done. Now let's get the ones on the other side. And there we go. I know it looks a little naked, but you know what? <laughs> Whatever, man. It actually works. So let's see if I can hire this worker and let them go completely straight right here. Nope, can't do that. They just kind of quit their job. So let's pull it straight forward a little bit and get to right here and then hire a worker. It's a little bit close to the to the ditch right here. But it's working. And once we get far enough down, fire the worker. And then we'll just line it up ourselves. Sweet. Just like that. All right. I'm going to keep going around. We got a lot more work to do, but uh, we don't have as much time to do as you think we might because it is currently September and it's getting ready to rain. Dude, I hit a whole section right here. It just needed to be plowed up. <laughs> uh, yeah, could just go straight through. I mean... I know why they didn't. It looks way more interesting with it looking the way that it did, but uh, how's about this? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm also looking at this whole area here to the right side. It's a little bit hilly, yeah, but I also own it. I think we could get out there. I also think that the map just kind of drops right here. Yeah, the map just kind of drops right there, so we're not going to be able to get too far. Probably not even gonna bother with that. Can't forget the spot in between the fields. And whatever all that is, I think I forgot to turn off the swather. If I'm honest, I think this uh, this run right here, this straightaway, I think it's probably fine without me getting in there trying to plow half of it up. That being said, coming up about right here, I feel like I get a little bit closer, so we will go ahead and do that. There we go. Come around. Ooh, I'm almost done. Sweet. And this is all the plowing we need to do, because. Technically, this field didn't even need to be plowed, but we did it anyway. Boom, boom, boom. There you go. Now I gotta hit this one as well. This one's not gonna be too difficult either. Just need to kind of smooth it out. And there it is. So the next step is going to be to find ourselves a new planter and new tractor to pull it. It is so expensive, but man, I really, really want to use this, and with it being one of the larger ones, a 12 meter, I think we could probably use this for forever and be just fine. So let's go for it, man. Uh, we only need 180 horsepower, so let's see if we can find ourselves maybe a red tractor or something else. What about something that I don't think I've ever used before? But do it's far. The Series 9 tractor that I have said multiple times is one of the most beautiful tractors in the entire game. But I've never actually used it. So today, we're gonna change that. I bought a brand new Doids Far. I got a brand new uh, planter. Uh, I don't have a brand new combine harvester, but uh, Virtual Farmer could probably help you out with that one. So here we are. We have a Doids Far in Canada, which is interesting, I think. Uh, we've got a nice Case IH planter in Canada. And we've got some stuff ready to put down. I do need to go through. I need to fertilize all of this once. But uh, then we're ready to put down stuff. We're going to do canola. That way we can go through and swath it all up. We've been having fun swathing crop. So, well, we're just going to keep doing it. So if you will uh, excuse me momentarily, I 
need to get some spraying done, and you need to go uh, um, come right back. Yeah, and we are back. It is fertilizing day today and planting day, at least on our big field. So if we take a look real quick over on our map, top left up here, this field right here, 23 and 22. This is what we are fertilizing up. You can see I've already come around a little bit, but we've got plenty more to go. So I'm just gonna be working on fertilizing this field up and then we're gonna put some seed in the ground. Might have gotten tired of waiting, so I did a little bit of an upgrade to our Kubota sprayer. So now it is orange, the Kubota orange. We're using it on M8, so you know what? Perfect. It's also the largest width. Should make this a little bit quicker. So now everything has been fertilized, and we are going to take our new case planter and, oh yeah, the Deutz Farwire, baby! Especially now that FarmCon has been announced to gonna be a do it far this year. Oh yeah. Figured we have to use it. We're gonna be doing canola in this field. Actually, this whole field area we're gonna be doing in canola. Because we're gonna swath it up and go from there. Now, I have spoken to Yus Modding, who has made the extended straw crop mod. That mod at first, at least early on, was actually conflicting with this map. So we were having an issue where the canola would turn into a weird canola straw thing. Well now, canola straw has been removed and it's just a straw swath, canola swath itself. So everything should work. I really hope it works. I really, really, really hope that it works. Let's go! <laughs> so the plan is to actually go through whenever it is harvest time, which will probably be the next year in game since it's September already. That way, we can go through, swath it up, and then whenever we go through and harvest, we can get that sweet, sweet straw out your back. Getting pretty close to the end of the field now. We take a look. We've got all the stuff at the top, and we just got to lead. Oop, oop, oop. We'll hit this little spot. Got it. <laughs> so, almost done. I'm just going to hire a worker on this and uh, be done with it pretty quickly. Yeah. And we are done. Yeah. Well, I mean, kind of. We still got this little spot up here but the good thing is probably in the next day or two we are going to be ready for our harvest on soybeans and now that i've got extended straw crops mod back installed well we should be just fine also i haven't been using the road uh uh did yay <laughs> Hey, if it works, right? And just like that, we are finished. I still need to come through and get all of the uh, fertilizing done and things like that, but we have got everything in the ground. Take a look at the soybeans real quick. Yeah, they're ready to go. So we just got to sit and hang out and wait. Can we go over this? Yeah, yeah, that works. And just like that, we are done yes sir we are all done with the planting we are all done with the fertilizing and yay we are all done with this tractor right here so ooh, that was close let's get everything put back onto the main farm as you can see we are looking good over here a lot has changed just in a few short episodes right here whenever we planted these we were very very poor and now I would say we're doing all right. There is one thing I always love seeing pallets in the used sale. So uh, if we buy too many of them, you can see the price definitely goes up. But one of them, get a decent discount, $1,600. So let's go and get the one. Let's unhook from the gooseneck. There we go. We do have straps on the back of this. So we'll just pull back here and throw it in. And because we have liftable pallets installed, all the pallets in the game, please... Please let me in my vehicle. There we go. All the pallets are strappable and pick upable. Now, where are we selling cheese for the most? Farmer's market by far. But where is the farmer? Oh, I see a green marker. All right, let's see if we can get in here without missing the turn this time. This is it, I think. Yeah, there we go. And we'll sell the cheese. Should be for a very, very decent amount. Open it up. Take the straps off, grabs the cheese. Um, maybe over here? Yeah, there we go. So it cost us $1,600 and it gave us six grand. Not bad. Now that all that's done, I think we're just gonna take a little bit of a rest. We'll head over here <laughs> we will save our game because you never know what's gonna happen. There we go. And let's 
Head to bed until the morning. Well, we had to fast forward not one day, but two. But now we are in November and somebody's soybeans are ready for harvest. One thing, all of our stuff all over the place is just kind of everywhere. I don't even know where my header is for this. Where is it? Well, it's showing that I have it. I just don't know where it is. Oh, for some reason ever, it's at the, the, the store. Wonder why that is. Well, not much can stop me. I've got it. Let's go ahead and unfold our combine. Let's go ahead and hook up to the header and we will fold it up while we're at it. Should be folded here. We'll raise her up just a hair. There we go. I double check and make sure that straw swath is enabled. Yes, it is. Let's go ahead and enable fast farm as well. So we are now using Mr. Yost Modding's straw, uh, straw mod. So his enhanced straw swath which should work perfectly fine with soybeans here, as soybeans are not a swathable crop on the map. Everything should work perfectly fine. Yeah, by the way, I've just seen on his social media that he has submitted an update, so that may even be out by the time you guys are watching this video. Who knows? But I know we've got plenty of soybeans and plenty of straw to pick up today, so let's get to work. The whole idea behind doing soybeans, at least when we got started, was some cash flow. We had a serious, serious deficiency in cash flow. So I'm going to try and utilize that exact thing. So whatever money we make off of the soybeans, we are going to reinvest in something. We're not just going to hang on to it and wait for a rainy day. We're going to reinvest in something. So we've got two tractors now. we got our combine. We have our swather. we got a truck. And we've got a telehandler, which I think is a, a decent bit of equipment to start off with. Plus, we've got a lot of fields kind of now. We've got more, I think, than enough as far as fields go to keep us busy. So the question is, what do we need more than that? What else do we need? What else could help us out other than having fields and equipment? Could it be more generators? Could it be another source of income? Maybe it's cattle. Maybe it's another animal. I'm not quite sure what the answer to that question is yet, but I do know that I want to get that sorted. And I want to figure out what the answer to that question is uh, whenever we find out how much money we're going to make from all this. Yeah. Now we got our combine harvester running on everything. I do have the mod installed right now, at least that gives us a little bit extra power. I don't know if this is going to work or not, but it does seem like it's working. Let's go and cut some lights on so we can see what we're doing here. This may work perfectly fine. It seems like it's working. I mean, it's definitely moving. So maybe, just maybe, this is the answer that I was looking for here as far as all of this, the extra power mod. I stopped using it at first. We just had too much, too much, too, we had too much power, man. <laughs> we had more than we needed. But this seems, uh, this, yeah, I kind of like using a smaller tractor to do all this. This is working great. And the straw is definitely plentiful. We've barely gotten around, what, one headland and then one row down through here. We're already at 143,000 liters. So I'm pretty sure we're going to do all right when it comes to straw on this field. Soybeans, on the other hand, not insane. I don't think we're going to have to unload this at all while we're doing our soybean harvest. But it's not bad. Could be a lot worse. We're at 20,000, almost 21,000 liters in here. But the great thing is about soybeans, the price. The price of soybeans is just phenomenal. 6,500, 6,600. If we go through the train, 7,300 liters. Do dollars per, per thousand liters. That's a lot of money, bro. And here we are almost at the end. And I've quickly noticed that the time of year mixed with the way everything is, is I'm kind of having a hard time seeing all the soybeans right now. I decided to just come through and get all this done, especially since we're using that specific loading wagon. There's really no reason to make this look good. I'm just going to drive over all of it. There we go. Good to go. Now we got another little field over here. Smaller little field. 30,000 liters so far. This may give us five. <laughs> If I'm being realistic, let's go ahead and cut the lights on so we can see what we're doing. This is the field that we made. I think it was like the first or second episode that we did here on Edgewater, Saskatchewan. It's definitely little. Yeah, it's going to be about three passes. I think it all done. Yeah, three passes it was. On to field number three of four. 
Lord. And uh, we got even less than I thought. I said we'd get five. We got 3,000 off that last build. This one again, we're gonna get probably uh, not, a, not a lot. Probably not a lot is, is the exact number. Yeah. So I'm thinking, and I've been thinking a lot about this, thinking we're gonna do decently okay. I think that we really should be investing in cattle. Cattle do really, really well, especially on this map. So I'm thinking we take the money that we get. Let's get ourselves a cattle pen. Let's find a way to build somewhere the cattle area and let's uh let's buy some cows well not too bad off of that we've got another four thousand so not much more than this other field if i'm honest but we've got one more and hopefully we'll have maybe fifty thousand, possibly by the end of all of it fingers crossed for 50. here we go harvest time has begun again for the for the fourth, fourth, fourth one. Something, something by K-Bot, I don't know. Get out of here. And I tell you what, this has been a pretty easy field to do and we definitely hit over 50. Yeah, man. Oh, we're gonna miss a little bit. Well, we'll leave that for the, uh, <laughs> for the deer, I guess. And there it is. 51,359 liters. I guess we could probably sneak over this way as long as nobody's looking. Yeah, nobody's looking. Yay! <laughs> Picking up the straw is going to be the easy part. We should get plenty of money off of that. And we'll go ahead and open up the pipe. That way, we can go ahead and get it out into the truck. Before we go take that off, we need to get all of the straw picked up first. That, we know, that way, we know exactly what we're going to be working with. I think we're going to... Well, I say think. Uh, we're definitely going to be over 300,000 liters, maybe close to 350 as far as the straw goes, which isn't going to give us a lot of money, but it's going to be more than zero. Actually, a little bit better than 350. 393. So we'll go ahead and get all this folded up, get it brought up, and we'll go ahead and drop this here because we'll take the semi truck. Does kind of make it easy when you could just take one truck and be done with it. Let's go ahead and hook her up. Got him. And we'll go ahead and hook this over here. Ooh, am I going to have enough clearance? Here, let's come at it from an angle. There we go. Perfect. Ooh, don't go too far. Back it up. Back it up. There we go. And we'll jump at the combine and start it up. There we go. So now we know we got 51,000 liters of soybeans, 393,000 liters of straw. Where are we going to take them? Well, let's find out. Let's start with the soybeans. Where's somewhere that's not the train? Uh, that's going to give us the best. So it looks like Edgewater Grain. Let's go ahead and tag the place. Looks like we got ourselves a place. Let's go ahead and select the front and slow it down. Don't don't turn too much. There we go. We'll get this dumped. I have not tried to dump with the trailer attached. So this might turn into an interesting fiasco here, depending on how close that gets. Oh, no. There we go. $340 thousand dollars for the harvest holy cow man straw is taking us to i think this destitute yeah that's gonna be the the trade i'm not going there let's let's go to livestock bell auction let's tag the place baby i think it's just right over here yeah just right outside right on the edge we're not even gonna cut this one we'll just head straight over to it enjoy nature gotta love that uh, i have tried pulling in here a few times it's not worked out well for me so this time, I'm going to be uh, the best backwards driver in farm sim. Clutch can say what he wants. No, he's not. Ooh, this is a little bit slow, though. Hey, BC, can I get a little bit of a, a backwards boost? <laughs> Just a little bit slow backing up. That's all right. That's all right. Makes it a little bit easier, I guess, at the end of the day. We're going to take this. Should be almost instant. And it was $58,000 there. So we made a good almost, uh, almost 400 grand. Now we're going to figure out how to put that towards cattle. So do we take a plot of land that we already have and transform that into a farm, which is what I'm thinking. I'm actually thinking this back area right here. So this area is what I'm kind of thinking where we transform into a cattle farm. Now we do have a few animal pins in here. Uh, the one that I would go for would either be this one, the cow barn by, uh, oh, I just placed one down. Oh no. Um, that wasn't 
exactly what I wanted to do. All right, so that was 44525. <laughs> I just ruined like everything, didn't I? I sure did. Oh boy. Uh, what was my last save? Ah, so I got to do all that again. Cool. And after a little bit of time away, we have fixed everything, and now we're ready to build a cattle farm here on Edgewater, of Saskatchewan. Yeah, man. We are going to be utilizing this little area right here. It's not really a, a farm or any sort of the imagination. It's just an area on Farmland 62 with this field farm thing area. I don't know. I just threw everything in here. First things first, we need to get all of the area just kind of done up. What I mean is we've got all this, well, a field here. We don't need the field here anymore. So what we are going to do is go ahead and paint down and we don't really need to do this part, but uh, I'm going to go ahead and do it because I think it'll make things easier later on. And I'm going to be using this grass texture so that I could just go down and paint grass right over it and we'll be good to go. There we go. All done. So now we save the game again. Because the last thing we want is a replay of what just happened to the previous setup. Okay, so now we're going to use something kind of neat. We're going to be using the open cattle pen. And what I've got is I've just got it set up right here. And we're going to line it up just about perfect with this little barn on the right hand side. Also, we're going to go a little bit into the woods, not by much, just enough to kind of get us out of the way. And then we'll bam! Done. Ta-da! Yeah, man! Now we can focus on the fencing. Now, I do want the fence to match-ish what we've kind of got down around the rest of the fields and farms and areas. So, let's go over here and take a look real quick. So, everything's using this setup right here where it looks to be some type of wire or maybe metal fence and then going through with these uh, the posts. So, let's see if we can find the exact one. Maybe something close-ish to it. And I think we found it. Right here, this one uh, just, I don't, know. I don't know, they all actually just say fence, so, but I think this is the one. To be fair, may not be the best at holding cattle in, but you know what? I think it'll be just fine, so let's start down here, right about here, and we'll go over to about right about there. Now, I do have the fence mod installed, where you don't have to worry too much about any, uh, Fences getting in the way or that type of thing. We do maybe need to put in some type of uh, a door though. I don't know, I've got an opening here. There's no real reason for us to have to come in here. I don't know, maybe we'll do it on, maybe we'll do it on this side. Yeah, you know what? Let's do it on this side. We'll put it like right here, right about there. Yeah, that'll work. Okay. Ah, you know what though? Uh, I don't think there's actually any gates that match this. Okay. Well, maybe we don't worry about it then. <laughs> Let's just go ahead and line up there and we will follow along right about to here. That should be good-ish enough. And then we'll try and match that up all the way over here right against the building. And then we shouldn't have any more troubles. Let's go from above just so we can see the line almost perfectly. And kaboom. Right about there. I think that should do it. Yeah, could be, could be worse, could be better, but I'm okay with it. We got a couple trees back here as well. We may add a couple more of those, and it looks like we are more than in the mesh as well. Doesn't look like maybe a little bit of overlap here on the side with the mesh, but I don't think we're gonna have to worry about that too much. So let's go and get rid of that mesh. Boop, just like so. Sweet. Oh, we get some deer in here too. That's cool. Now do like some extra trees. So maybe we put a couple little trees here and there just to kind of give it a little bit more, uh, whatever back here. That could be a lot worse. Something else we'll need are the animals themselves. Uh, we do want cattle. I think I want uh, adult cattle like right there. We don't want too old, but animals are healthy, older, 18 months can reproduce. Uh, age 18, yeah, I guess we could just buy animals that are ready to reproduce right off the bat. And that should be good to go. So they're going to cost us, uh, 1500 bucks a piece. I said, uh, my main amount. Let's see. Hang on. How many? Huh. Said we spent about 300 grand on them. So, okay. All right. 
Sweet. Now we have 180 head of cattle in here hanging out, doing their thing, being all happy and stuff. We do need to put a couple things around and we're going to need to find a way to feed them because they don't actually have any food for them yet, which is what all of the fields around here are getting ready to turn into. They're all going to be grass fields. That way we can get silage, hay, and grass in here to feed them. And there's a couple mods that I'm going to use here that I've used previously that worked absolutely phenomenally. And I'm just going to do them again. So I don't think I'm going to need to get back in there to utilize that again ever. So I'm going to use this right here. This is where the milk is going to go. And let's double check and make sure that I can put one of these down. Of course, it didn't want to do it the first time. Let's try it again the second time and boop. Second time's a charm. All right. That is where the milk is going to go. Funny enough, that's also where the slurry is going to go, I think, as well. We also need to put something down for the milk itself. I think the milk could go into a place, probably, but we'll put that somewhere else on the map. That way I can actually deliver it. Now we're going to get more into finishing building our farm. So we got cattle over here. Nice, happy cattle. I did think about doing some chickens, though. Um, I haven't done anything, I don't think, with chickens in a minute. Of course, they're really only going to give us... Nah, that chicken pen's way too large. Maybe we'll just wait for an open chicken pen like that, and I'll be fine. So here's what I'm thinking for the rest of it. I think this main area through here may work really well as a road. So that'll work good there. Maybe something here on the side. Maybe our house. Maybe a smaller garage. Something like that. Definitely like keeping the cattle where they're at. So let's jump in here. And there's a few things that I want to just give a try and see. First up is uh, building from the American Farm Pack. I would love to put this about like right here, but we do have some trees in the back that might be clipping a little bit and I think we could get a little bit further back if they weren't there so I do want to go delete those trees but the good thing is we can make a nice big bright red barn out of that so I definitely want to put at least one of those down should be able to get some stuff in there then we've got all this area down here on the end one of the ideas that I had was to use this building now this is a bigger building and I'm not quite sure that it would work great down there we may have to just use one of these we could probably utilize this here, but I'm not sure this would work like that. So what I thought about doing was maybe having like this here or that like right there. And then one of these, the onset building, kind of like in there, maybe like that to the side, possibly in towards that way. I'm not quite sure yet. Maybe neither, but I do, I do want to use this because it looks awesome. Plus, I mean, look at that color. That looks awesome. So we will get back in here with our easy dev controls and we will just put an end to a few of these trees. That way we can get just a little bit closer to the tree line. We can add some more trees later if we want to, but I think for right now, I want to do the opposite of that. There we go. That'll work good. And we'll get in here with some landscaping just to kind of paint it up. Perfect. Now let's do it from the american pack this shed right here and we're gonna go bright red with it we will double check and make sure that we can place this down on free paint we'll get it back as far as we can get it which i think is going to be about there and we'll get this about as close this way i may have to delete one of those trees but crap that's what i was trying to prevent from happening <laughs> Man, I wish I wish I could see what was going on there. Oh, well. See, this is the other thing as well, is it actually took the back back here and raised it up, which I was not quite wanting to happen, but you know what? I guess it is what it is. You got to deal with it. As far as everything goes, I think we'll be able to manage slowly, but surely we'll be able to manage. So we can open that up, but we can open that up and this at the same time, more or less. So there's that that works now we've got this area over here which don't still quite know what to do with i don't know let's place a few things down see what it looks like okay so i've got an idea that i think might work for this building however it doesn't change colors what i want to do is get it like right here okay but the issue is there's this whole area over here that may need to be flattened out across what it's going to do is it's going to have to either get rid of this whole area down in there or i'm just gonna have to come up with another idea also i decided not to make this red it just seemed like it worked better not being red and yes i do have a please open the door thank you and then we'll open this up and we'll go ahead and open this door as well 
Nice. All right. Well, slowly but surely, we're getting some places to put our equipment. And here's what we've got. So we've got our cattle down. We've got an American shed here. I've got a, another shed there. And we've got this one, which is a base game shed that I painted red. Yeah. Should be more than enough places for us to put stuff, but we need to decorate first. So let's get my person out of the way. There we go. We'll just put him in the barn for now. And let's start drawing ourselves an area here. So landscaping, we'll jump into painting and we need to find ourselves some gravel. So the gravel there is working good. And let's, there we go. Yeah, that'll work. That'll work pretty good. Let's go and bring that in there. There we go. And I'm just gonna kind of draw out the middle area of kind of how I want it to go. Right about there, that'll work good. And then I'm just going to zoom in right about there. Nice, nice, nice. Yeah, that's, that's gonna go good. Very nicely, very nicely. And once all that has been connected, we will just go ahead and draw out the other quick areas through here. And then we'll do the outside edges. We do wanna make sure we get all the way out where we wanna go here first. And then that way we could just come right in and do all the fill in. Got those areas good. Now we can start filling in the grass area. So all these greenery spots, we'll just kind of paint some grass in here. And I also want to come in here and paint where our cattle are as well. That way they've got a nice area for themselves. Now some areas don't need to be all grass in here. For example, we do want to make sure we get a little bit of separation here with like some dirt right where their feed goes. This should give us a nice, just barrier, more or less. You don't have to do this, but I think it looks better. And then if you wanna do it on this side as well, you can, I'm going to. Again, just because I think it looks better. And there we go. What do you think? Definitely outlines it, makes it look a little bit better. That is what I like. So from here, we can add a little bit more separation with some trees and a couple bushes, things like that, just to kind of split up these two areas right here. There we go, that'll, that'll work all right. That's a little bit too big, but this is just right, that'll do. While we're at it, we could go ahead and add a couple fence areas here as well. We'll just kind of do like that, that will do. And then we could do some fences through here. Uh, now I've taken all the fences off the rest of the farm, so <laughs> that's probably not gonna work the way I want it to personally, but we could. But we all know I'm gonna cut corners, so I'm not gonna do that. Now, let's get everything put away in its new home. Not everything will fit over here, but I'm hoping that most everything, or at least a lot of stuff, will fit them. We'll try and do equipment in these far sheds right here. Uh, maybe that 50 foot trailer will fit in here. I doubt it, we'll find out. We're done with the farm build. Let's jump in and take a look at it. So we've got all of our cattle over here on the right hand side with the milk and slurry getter. Uh, definitely forgot to put the manure thing down. We'll figure that out. Uh, over here, we've got where our truck and tractor are in and then we close that. We could get our other tractor out, which is pretty cool. Coming over here, we have a telehandler in this little area. I was gonna put the pickup truck, but telehandler works great. Both of our harvesters are in here. And then we got our three large trailers here. Uh, really don't need this anymore because we're not doing bales. So, yeah. We'll go ahead and get rid of that. I've also sold our small John Deere cedar and we've sold the baler all together as well. So all of that's gone, we don't need it anymore. And uh, yeah, that's about it. I do need to get in here and take care of the cattle to make sure that we have a manure place. So I may have to delete some of these trees, but yeah, I think we're okay. And I just actually found the perfect spot for the manure heap right here right about there, right about here? Yeah, right about there, bam! <laughs> so I've got that pole going through there. We've got this tree here. It doesn't clip in anything over there. I mean, it's just barely in there. Yeah, man, that's perfect. And then all I gotta do is back a trailer up over here, auto load into that. We're good, dude. We're good, yes! I do wanna paint the inside of this dirt brown just 
cause. I feel like it's weird if it's not like a mud or a dirt color. It just feels weird not being that. Come out a little bit too. Yeah. And that, I think now, just about does it. However, we still got stuff we got to do. I still need to give the cattle food. So let's figure out how we're going to do that. I think I got an idea. The multi-buying fruit station is probably the easiest mod to use for pretty much anything. <laughs> I mean, it's, it's just so simple and easy to use. So I'm going to place down right there. And we need to get ourselves a dump truck, so we'll go ahead and move this. Open sesame. Yeah! <laughs> Man, this is this is pretty cool. This is pretty cool. I love having buildings like this, and especially for this series, not having anything. It's been a bit awkward, if I'm honest. Not having any buildings to park anything in. This is a little bit better. And I know this is cheating, but you know what? It's cheap. And, and it works, so whatever. I mean, 100,000 liters of TMR is 3,100 bucks. That's, I mean, it's pretty ridiculous is what it is. So all I gotta do is back this up over here and dump it in. Should get the trigger soon, there it is. And we'll feed the cattle. We'll go ahead and take a look here and see how much it fills up. Well, 100,000 liters didn't do much. I may give them another little, uh, little bit here and then we'll give them a load of straw and from there, I think we'll be all right. So cattle are looking good. We got 100,000 liters of straw, 400,000 liters of food, which is I think at about half capacity right now. Uh, and that will work just fine. So the next bit, we're gonna have to fertilize and we're going to have to get everything ready to go for the field. So we're gonna be planting grass in our main fields, at least around the farm. That way we can, well, not have to spend all our money on feed for these guys and they will start to produce manure and slurry and milk and we can all take that and sell it so canola is doing fine so these are the areas right here that we are going to be using for the grass fields now we've still got uh, close to half a million dollars right now so i don't know if we want to try and go find another field as well i mean we're we're kind of doing all right on everything i don't I don't actually know. Get, currently got the, the, the hiccup, so you can just ignore me. But, yeah, I don't know. That field across the edge is starting to look pretty good, but maybe we should keep it to maybe not massive amounts of farming, at least to start with here, at least on this first uh, first series. First of, I think, three series we'll be doing 30 episodes total. We'll find out and see, but I think, uh, I think we're all right right now. Now that the fertilizer is all done, now I've got to open this back up. This is going to get little bit long uh long-winded here opening and closing the same garage over and over again but you know what yeah whatever it'll work just fine grab ourselves a cedar and we'll set this to grass now all we gotta do is plant everything in and we'll be good to go drop it down and turn it on there we go grass seed is going in the ground baby let's rock and roll one thing it is getting a little bit dark i did have to stop the clock on zero time just so i can get this work done all i gotta do is get some fertilizer in the ground and then i'm gonna be done and probably gonna be done until springtime i do not foresee anything changing with this until spring there we go okay we'll double check make sure there's no little bits or bobs i think we're all right i think everything's good just need to spray all this down one more time and go boop i should probably get some some uh <laughs> bridges through there that might work a little bit better all right slowly but surely and there we go we are done and we can get out of here let's get everything folded up we'll go ahead and put this back onto the farm hopefully we get it folded up by the time we get past all this that way i don't hit nothing there we go perfect bring it in am i gonna get lucky Oh, yeah. One take, baby. Turn it off. Get out of here. Shut the door. It is on. Bye. Now, everything is set and ready to go. December is usually the last time that we're able to actually do any bit of harvesting. So I do want to check and see if our canola is going to be ready for harvest. But I don't think that it's going to be. It could be. It could, and if it is, well, we're gonna have a bit of work to do. Oh boy. 
That, uh, that does not look like it is ready to harvest. Sweet. Oh, man, all this is, though. What is... Oh, no. Nope, those are red. No, 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 no. We will see you in the spring, man. Nope. I might have forgot that I actually have animals to take care of. So let's double check. All right. In here, we've got 65,000 liters of manure. In the liquid silo, there is absolutely nothing. So the slurry in the milk is not going in there for whatever reason. So that we need to figure out. I don't know why. Is it because there's no extension? Maybe we'll do the silo extension. Is that, uh, is that the cause of this? I think possibly it might be. If I remember correctly, one of these, one of these works like that, but I don't know how we're definitely losing money right now. Not having the cows produce any milk. So that's going to be that not going to be, that is quite dangerous. Hey, that was it. So, uh, wow. Overnight we got 21,000 liters of milk and 45,000 liters of slurry. That is insane. How are we doing on food? Food's still okay. Straw's still okay. So that makes me happy. Yeah, milk and slurry. All right. We're doing good, dude. We're doing good. Let's take a look at the manure. Looks like there's already 100,000 liters in there. Dude, you cows have been pooing a lot, dude. <laughs> the moo indeed. Uh, I do think that we're ready to harvest, but we're going to have to let all this stuff sit for a minute. Nope, still not even ready to harvest yet. Okay, so uh, see, it's February now, maybe March, April. Should be a good time. Nope, March has snow everywhere. Nope, not dealing with that. Um, so it's April, yeah. <laughs> and there's still snow everywhere, dude. Uh, I know they said there was gonna be a plenty of snow. But goodness gracious! Uh, <laughs> and now we're ready for harvest. I've got to double check everything. It's still 26 degrees right now, but it does look like it's going to be warming up throughout the day. I don't want to wait all the way until May. Maybe if we let time go a little bit into the day, maybe, just maybe, all this snow could melt. Uh, dude. <laughs> There's just an exorbitant amount of snow everywhere. Uh, obviously, over there somewhere, somebody has harvested their field or fer fertilized it, plowed it up, something. Of course, there's no snow in half of those. Oh, there goes a layer of snow, but is it going to be enough? <gasps> the snow, it's gone. Yes. <laughs> I think we could get to work, and I think the grass is ready to be mowed as well. Yeah. Okay. Um, yeah, I don't think we have enough time today, though. Tune in for the next one. Speaking of that next one, let's talk about what we're going to be doing. Well, obviously, we need to handle our cattle because they're going to need some food, and they're going to need, uh, well, maybe we can take that milk and sell it. We'll make a little bit of cash. Speaking of cash, we have $669,000. Nice. Three fields. Well, two fields and a little oomph of grass here plus we have a lot of canola that needs to be swathed we've got a lot of work to do we've got a lot to, to well a lot to do uh the canola is going to be interesting and it's going to be fun because we're going to swath every single bit of this then we're going to harvest it up i do have yo smotting's extended straw crops mod turned on so we're going to take the straw from the straw and make straw with it and then use that straw to sell the straw and if you missed that well Tune into the next episode because it'll all be explained then. And we are back for the season finale on Edgewater, Saskatchewan. Today is going to be a fun one. We're going to be taking the canola and we're going to be swathing it up. So we're going to be utilizing our Kloss Lexian US. We're going to be utilizing our Heston Mower Swatha. And we're going to have a good time. So first things first, we do still need to run a headland around everything. We don't have our dirt skirt in yet, so we're just going to, well, run this and, and be done with it. <laughs> Hopefully everything's going to be good there. We do need to fuel up as well, so we need to figure out how we're going to do that. I don't, I don't actually have a fuel stop on here, so, um, yeah. Oh, we should probably also take both these headers with us, so let's do this the easy way. And this is why I love these kinds of headers. 
It's just so easy to unfold them, fold them up, get them going, and rock and roll. Now, I do love this Clausuxian combine, but I have considered swapping this out for the Colossus. Now, it's not a, uh, it, uh, well, a U.S. style Kloss, even though it is technically this combine, or, or at least a uh, U.S. version of the one in the game. But I still think uh, we'll probably hang on to this, and we may just get the Lexian 700 if we're going to do any upgrades. I really like these, and I think this series specifically just kind of deserves to have this combine as it's well, the, the combine that we use. I think it's the perfect one, and I don't feel like using any other one. That being said, Chris, I'm definitely going to be using that thing sometime. So definitely keep a lookout for it. It's awesome. And we should be good to go in here. I don't think we're going to have any problems. We will double check to make sure straw swath is enabled. Yes, it is. Uh, we should just get a normal amount of straw. Shouldn't have anything wild. Shouldn't see anything crazy in here. We should just get a very, very normal straw swath off of this canola. And we are. Perfect. So we will go ahead and hit our uh, little uh, well, I was about to say the dirt skirt, the one singular headland all the way around so we get away from all that grass, that way we're not losing anything, and then we'll get in here with the swather, which is always fun, but we got to do it all ourselves, so that's always fun. So far, so good, and we're actually getting a lot of canola off of this field. We're about halfway done, I would say, with the first pass, and we're already up to 11,500 liters, so we're we're doing okay. I think we're going to get a bunch off of this field. A whole lot more than I was expecting. And it's the big field as well. So we're going to be doing a lot of it this, this episode. So Deadland is done. And we've got 21,000 liters of canola. That's pretty good at least to start off with. But I think we could do better. And by that I mean I totally forgot to do this side of the field too. Crap. I will probably go through and like raise up these areas in the middle where there's water and plow that up just so we can make maybe some bigger areas i mean here we go some areas with trees i'm cool keeping those but i do think it is about time that we uh, get rid of some of these ditches and make some of these big fields i mean that was one of the things that they said that we could do with this map so we may end up doing that this time around here we go baby oh yeah we get to use the heston boiler baby this is not a baler Crap. Fun fact, this is also what we're going to use to mow with, too. I figured, you know, I mean, it's it's a good mower, and we're just going to be picking stuff up, so this is going to be perfect. I do need to find a silo that turns grass into silage, but that's really it. I also need to get a hold of a tether, because we're going to have to ted this grass, too. Normally, I just cheat it, but since we're since we're all this way, since we're here... We just may as well just do this the uh, the right way and, and get it over with. Speaking of getting it over with, let's do this field first, I think. Double check, make sure fast farming is on. Yes, it is. All right, let's do this bit first. I'm just going to go either back and forth or maybe we'll hit a uh, little run right here in the middle. I'm not quite sure yet. This... This field's not very big. Also, I do know that I could go all the way over and make a bigger swath, like do a double swath and pick those up. However, it is a little bit easier for me to pick up one swath at a time. I would rather just do one big swath and have to miss just a little bit here and there than do it the other way around. I may have cut a little bit of grass back there. Oops. The only thing, though, when you're swathing, man, you got to be conscious of where you are putting the swath. Are you putting it to the left? Are you putting it to the right? Are you accidentally cutting grass? Is it too close to this? Is it cl too close to that? You, you just got to be careful. That's all. But, you know, it's it's kind of fun. I'm I'm really enjoying it. I know me and uh, me and Clutch Simulation spoke recently on the Farm Sim Show podcast about how we both really enjoyed swathing, even though you can't hire a worker and nothing like that. It's it's just an enjoyable experience. This and picking it up both. It's bringing just something different, something new and unique to Farming Simulator that um, I I really do think that this or just something new has been missing. It, it's, it feels great, it feels new, it feels fresh. Um, 
it would be really awesome to see this type of thing come in a future game or maybe in a future update to the game. Uh, I don't think anyone would complain about that. And now we get into the fun part. Yeah, the big field. This, as you have seen previously, does take a hot minute. What I'm gonna try and do is be as precise with it and run with it just like this as much as I can, just like we did the last time around. So we'll be doing one run like this. I'm gonna do another run pushing into the inside. And then we're gonna try and make as many straight lines in this as possible. It is gonna take some time, but man, oh man, is it worth it. You know what? You should jump on the game right now too. Jump on, jump on Edgewater. Get to swathing, dude. It's a lot of fun. And I'm, well, I'm done for the first first pass. I gotta, we gotta turn around and do that all again. It, it does take a little while to do all of this. That is the only downside again. Uh, you can't hire a worker on it either, at least at the time of recording this video. Uh, it is an impossible feat. So just heads up there. All these little spots, we're going to try and hit these smaller areas first. And the good thing is, come through there just like that. Awesome. Spin it around and hit it this way. There we go. So that is the whole idea there. Now... We could go back and forth and we'll hit as many straight lines through here as we can. Boop, there's one and two. You guys get the idea? That's what we're gonna try and do throughout the entire thing to make it as easy as possible to come through and pick up the swath. For the first set, not terrible, not bad at all. So we are now done with the singular headland, which has taken forever. And now it is time to go back and forth, baby, back and forth. <laughs> It's a lot easier than it sounds, I promise. So we just hit this, try to get it lined up just right, and do this a lot. And it'll look like this. Bam! What do you think about that? A very, very almost perfect setup. No workers, just DJ Goham doing what he does, making it look fresh. I mean, some of the, some of the spots you could probably ignore because they don't look the greatest, but I mean, look at it. I did pretty good. For as much as I could have done bad, I mean, that's that's pretty good, right? I'm so excited to use this. Yes, 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 yes. Let's go, man. Drop it down, turn it down. And watch the magic unfold. There's the normal straw coming out as I'm using the straw swath mod and we will Slowly but surely, make our turn there. And I did miss a little bit. That's that's on me, that's on me. We're gonna have to come back for that. But this, this is so cool, man. Oh, I love it, I love it, I love it. Uh, it does bounce a little bit, but we don't seem to miss any, only when we're turning. So that makes me happy, at least. Everything's going good, everything's going great. And all we gotta do is pick all of this up. I do suspect that I'm gonna have to un, uh, unload at some point. So we'll see uh, see about where we have to do that at. So after the first run around, we've done uh, kind of okay, actually, kind of okay. We've picked up almost twice as much as we did coming around through. I think we had about 30,000 uh, 30, liters, something like that. We had a lot of straw, got a, a whole lot of straw. That's for darn sure, but didn't, uh, we didn't get as much canola as I thought. I thought we would for sure be like a whole lot more than, than what we have, but you know what? That's eh, okay. It is what it is. I'm not going to worry too much about it. We are going to come through here with the big wind rower, so I'm just going to hit it as we go through. I'm not going to worry too much about it. I'm just going to hit it all. Go, go, go. Well, we in the field and we about full, so we're going to have to take the truck and go, uh, well, do what we do with the truck. Got a little bit too much in there. The issue as well is the truck only has a hundred thousand liter capacity. Let's see if we could do this the uh, the the wrong way. Yay! <laughs> if it works, it works. Am I right? Yeet! Oh boy! <laughs> so uh, 
Yeah, the, the combine and the truck have the same capacity. So 80% in one is 80% in the other. So we need to start trying to figure out where we can sell the canola. Of course, Saskatchewan, that's going to be the, the most, obviously. But I don't want to rent the train. So it looks like in here, Edgewater Grain is going to be the place to go. I think that's right over there. It is. So we will, uh, well, I guess wait until we need to fill up again. Yeah. Yeah. Did I just jump in the truck again? Come on now. Just an update. We are almost done, man. We have got all of this. And then we make a little turn. And then we do like that. Yeah, I've got a little loop at the end. But you know what? With the loading wagon that we're using, it ain't going to matter. We've got two-ish. Three more. Three more bits to go. And everything's going great. Man, I got to tell you. I told you at the beginning of the video. If you're not swathing on Edgewater, I don't know what you're doing. Because it is so much fun. Yeah. Go, 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 go. And here's the last of it right through there. Get it swathed and done. Now we still have a little bit on the other field, like way, way up there. We're going to hit that right now. I don't know if this is going to be a good idea or not, but we should totally try this just to see. All right. Let's come through here. Let's turn it on. We're gonna bounce, yeah! Ha 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 ha! Yeah, man! <laughs> uh, not, not quite, not quite where I wanted to be with this, but it did work, so whatever. So this is the one where it was a little bit interesting. I know I gotta make this turn right here. I don't know if it's gonna pick it all up though. It doesn't seem to like to pick stuff up at an angle from the sides. But it picks it up if you're going straight on. So at least there's that. So I think what we may do here is do a little flip around. It also won't deposit this on top of the other crop. As you saw right there, it just kind of takes a little break with it. Yep. And right over. So yeah, at least that works. This is it right here. The end of harvest, baby. At least this, this harvest. The end of harvest for this video today right now. There's, there's no more harvest in this video. Yeah, <laughs> at least right now. All right, let's go ahead and dump as much as we can into there. We'll get in here, start this up, and we've got two cells that we need to make. Cell number one brought us $395,000. That's epic. All right, let's see if we could do this. I don't know if I'm gonna be able to pass this car and make it. I can't do it, I gotta go over here. <laughs> I'm telling you what, man, this main stretch, it is bumpy, it is hilly, and it is almost like trying to get through traffic in GTA. It's kind of fun. And sale number two has brought us $177,000. So now we're up to 1.2 million, which is more than enough to maybe redo some equipment, maybe do some repainting, or definitely reinvest in a new farm and or fields. We're still doing okay, we're still doing all right, but I think at least for now, for season one, that's where we're gonna call it. Let's see if we can jump in front of this guy. Yeah, got him. Uh, we will start season two by picking up all this straw and getting it, well, found a silo for it because we have gotta keep it all. We're gonna be keeping every bit of the straw. We're not gonna be making any money from it. We're gonna be using it for a cow feed. We're gonna be using it for bedding for the stir. Yee -yee. Great way to great way to end that up. That was gonna happen eventually. And then we're going to be remodeling this field a little bit and maybe some surrounding areas as well. That way it's just a little bit easier to farm in. So, oh <laughs> yay. We'll see you guys then.